Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast, New Year's Eve, New Year's Edition. Whoop, whoop. With me, as always, I got the boys, Anthony Cheek Bust and Shuley. <laughs> what's up, fellas? Johnny Peter Gazer. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Would you call him a Peter Gazer? Yeah. He does gaze Peter, doesn't he? <laughs> and Jack the Peter Gazer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm your host, Michael Z. Bird Zydell. Um, if it, you're watching this on YouTube, if you could do us a favor, please hit the like button. If you didn't subscribe already, go ahead and subscribe. Also, we just started a Facebook group called Friends of Greenfield's Finest Podcast, so you'll probably be getting an invite to that if you listen. Um, if you didn't get an invite already, if you could uh, log on there and join that, that would help us out a lot. So you guys ready to get this started? If you're watching this on Facebook and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> on YouTube, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> but that's like what I've been watching a lot of YouTube, and that's what everyone says to be. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. That's what I always say during the podcast. Hit the fucking like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, you're listening. We're entertaining. You hit the subscribe button, and then have your mom go on and do it on hers, too. <laughs> you got dead family members, get their emails, and have them yeah. fucking subscribe. <laughs> Round up all the fucking emails you can. <laughs> yeah. Add these stats. Yeah. <laughs> So, dude, uh, we're going to hop right into this. Well, first off, how was everybody's Christmas? Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. It was good, man. I had a nice Christmas. It was, you know, it wasn't, it was different. You know, it wasn't as like uh, much family with all the COVID bullshit, but it was, it was a nice time. What about you boys? I mean, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Uh, my mom has COVID, so I didn't have to go over her house and see her. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she like, she like called like. It was like one of them things too. She called like Christmas. I was like, "Fuck!" Because th- third or um the night before Christmas, well Christmas Eve, it snowed real bad, so we had to go out and do snow. So like th- that morning, I'm like, "Fuck, dude, I'm tired." And my mom's like, "We're supposed to go over my mom's at like noon." And my mom calls me with like this cough, like, <coughs> <coughs> "I think I might have COVID." I'm like, "I can't be around you. We're not coming. That's it, mom. Safety first. I was like, "Gotta you, go." Do you think old Chrissy might have went a little hard on New Year's Eve? And I she think, was like, well, or Christmas Eve, and she was like, "Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with this today." I, I 100%. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> I did see your mom walking up with two Sixers yeah. Christmas Eve to her house. Uh, like, of course, <laughs> she did. two Sixers and probably a bunk, you know, some party supplies. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah, well, yeah. she got to drag his lie out now. 14 days for quarantine. Yeah, that's the thing. That's a that's a long that's a you, long con you're you going. You got to commit. There. Yeah. <laughs> Or you know you, you can, can fake you know, a test. Yeah, you can fake a test. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got the rapid test. It I was mean, negative. COVID is it's fucked up and people are sick, but like it could get you out of some shit. Yeah, <laughs> you, it's a, it's, it's a yeah. solid excuse. Like fucking like, dude, I was exposed. You don't have to say you have. You say exactly. I was potentially <laughs> exposed. You go to the grocery store, you're potentially exposed. Do you right. know what I mean? Like fucking. So I mean, you and then people. Then that's all people need to hear. You're fucking your boss, fucking coworkers, fucking anything. Nobody your, wants that sm- that, that smoke. So your guys like, on the yeah. podcast you're on with, you know, they they, they buy that too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and you just fucking, you know, what I mean, you ride it out for two weeks or say you got the tested. City, the city of Pittsburgh uh, plow drivers. They oh, must be saying that too, this right? Was, uh, Cause this was harder. This is gonna be harder to find. <laughs> that was terrible, dude. That was. Awful. Were they just not? They just weren't showing up, right? It was. Yeah, they were called. It was just unmanned vehicles sitting at the Aldi station. No doubt. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was. It was Christmas Eve. They were going down the list, and nobody was picking up. That's you know. That's like I. I've worked uh, public works many uh, different years, like during Christmas, and like it's just no one's coming in. Right, <laughs> you know, it's fucking right. Christmas, right? And like fucking. I I guess like I think it's double time or like in a yeah, half or yeah. some crazy shit like that. So like the money's there, but like it was Christmas Eve, like and it started snowing late. So if you started fucking like those CDL drivers, they can't have like a glass of wine and go drive a fucking right. truck because if they get pulled over, they're fucked. The the blood alcohol is so low. So like if they if they cracked like a fucking Christmas can of beer or fucking bottle of wine or a fucking shot, I mean then the, you can't go. Dude, the, the fact that a lot of people weren't going anywhere was probably a blessing because if it was a normal Christmas dude, and, and people had to get around, it was a fuck fest. Yeah. It was a fuck the fest. The roads were terrible. And I was driving around like an asshole everywhere. I had to go to fucking Lincoln Place, to uh, Brighton Heights, to North Hills. like so, And like it was it was fucked. Uh, that's what I said to Lenny. I was like, dude, if this was like a regular Christmas, like there would be cars sliding off the fucking side of the road here. There dude. was. This is, I mean, and this was in North Hills. This wasn't even the city. Dude, it, it, it came not fast. We're getting fucking snow, man. Dude, it snowed for like 24 hours. Like I said, we, we went out. Me and Mike and Shirley went out from like midnight. I'm like, all right, let's get this done. I'll be able to see my kids open their presents. Like, we get done. Like, as we're doing it, I'm like, this shit ain't stopping. Then I'm like, we're going to have to go back out. We'll go back out overnight. Dude, it snowed. 
probably till six o'clock the next morning. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was sneaky because it didn't look like it was like doing a lot, but it, like, it was it late. Was. Yeah. But it got it got so it's beginning to get so cold. Like when it's that cold, everything sticks. And to the, to the dude, it was so like so. Christmas Eve was what Friday. Christmas was Saturday. Thursday, Thursday, Christmas Thursday, Friday. Thursday. Christmas Eve was Thursday, and then so the roads are bad Thursday night. Christmas, nobody <laughs> comes out. The roads are still fucking bad. And then it's Saturday and Sunday, and dude, the Steelers are playing. Like, well, I can't say, like, those were, those, those, there's roads in Southside that are still fucked. Dude, <laughs> some reason, Swiss Helm must have, like, called and complained, or Corey O'Connor lives over there, and yeah. them roads were, like, fucking plowed and salted. And I'm like, <laughs> they never do it. It's the flattest place in Pittsburgh, but it's okay. Easy, yeah, it's the easiest place to do it. Yeah, Greenfield got no love. None. No, it was, uh, but yeah, dude, if my dad didn't cancel his Christmas party, I would have been drinking Crown Royal all day with my brother in law. And that's what I mean. We might not have got to it for a couple <laughs> days either. That's what I mean. Like, people, you start hitting that sauce early, you can't be going on a drive around drunk in fucking snow. I mean, you could do it. You could do it. <laughs> you probably don't want to. <laughs> if, you, if you have the option, you You'd probably rather not that to one. It. Yeah. yeah, right. Just fucking. But yeah, I can imagine them just going down that list and no one picking up. I'm like, man, we're going to get fucking killed here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they go- I was thinking, I was like, I'm going to have to defend these motherfuckers on this podcast. They're really fucking dropping the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you know when, like, main roads aren't touched? Or, like, they're, like... Carson back- Street was fucked for a couple of days. Carson Street was bad. Like, even parts of, like, Beachwood Commercial Road is, like... It, it, dude, it's a big, steep fucking hill. Yeah. And it was just snow-covered for, like, two or three days. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's good for body, man. They're getting a lot of work. I'm sure people are wrecking all over the fucking place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good for you, Turk. Uh... Steelers Super Bowl road to Tampa. Let's go. Dude, yeah. one, one halftime speech by Big Ben in their back. What, what halftime shot uh, for fucking by Big hey, Ben? Whatever it takes. Yeah. I mean, there's no way he didn't take a shot. I mean, whatever. Do we have to do? He took it. He definitely took a shot at Corey's on or something. What's he been he, waiting for? He, I don't know. That's what the thing. Like, did he not want to take the shot? Something, something drug related happened at halftime. <laughs> Listen, I don't care you don't, what the fuck. You don't throw about. like there's you don't fucking not throw the ball for fucking four, three and a half weeks, and then you just come out and now you're back to the regular old Ben just fucking slinging the ball. Maybe it was like a mind game they were playing with the rest of the league. Like <laughs> they're gonna throw five yard passes every time. And, to, and, and then finally and, like, until, half, it until they're, they're down by seventeen yeah, and halftime right. at the Colts or wherever the fuck it was, and then air it out again. Right. I'm like, this is the like the hardest game I've ever had to like watch. Like this is yeah, it was horrible. That first half was tough. Yeah, that was that was like very hard to watch. It was the like, dude, half, honestly, was the great. second half, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I started doing other shit. I turned it on. I'm like, oh, they got a touchdown. <laughs> and then I came back to it, and I seen Juju's touchdown. I'm like, oh, fuck, we, we're we got a ball game. About man. to win this thing. Yeah. It's crazy because he said it's like drug related. Like, it made me think, like, because I remember like dudes would be like hobbling off the bus to go in like to the methadone <laughs> clinic, and then like ten minutes later, these motherfuckers could have ran a marathon. You know what I mean? It's they, like they could build a house, but like they could barely get off the bus. <laughs> they got dosed, and all of a sudden they're running around like I gotta go to work for sixteen hours. I'm like, damn, dude, dude. I mean, because it, it takes a while for that shit to kick in. It didn't, and like they didn't start coming back until the middle of the third quarter. So like Ben's shot was like it didn't kick in until like, the middle of the third. Well, well, they what they went down and they got stopped on the fucking one yard line. And they turned over on yeah, downs yeah, the first yeah. drive. Yeah. So they didn't score, but they were still moving the ball. Yeah, but score. that's when uh, Connor actually didn't go down on first contact for once. And his spin move, he, he does the other way now. <laughs> they said they he said also left. that Ben, now I don't know how true this is, they said that when the second half came also that Ben was calling the plays and Fickner wasn't. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't hear I don't that. know how. I did. I heard he was, like, calling plays from, like, two years ago or so, just making shit up. But <laughs> Who knows how true Why don't he just tell Fickner, like, listen, dude, we probably need to th- try something different. Like, they don't talk. That's crazy. Like, like, they came out that first half and then ran, like, the same fucking – it was just slant, 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 Dude, slant, yeah, slant. Sl- five-yard slant, five-yard dig into each other. Try to run it out of the shotgun, just fucking going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bill went away, but for the second week in a row. He got it, pummeled. He's just getting fucking pummeled. He's getting his cheeks clapped. He's yeah. getting his cheeks clapped. <laughs> uh, that fucking I seen like someone talking about the fucking fifty nine or fifty fifty six the Highsmith dude like he had a good game I like highlighted him that whole game he was horrible like he gets fucking no pressure dude, at dude, all he didn't make fucking dude the letdown from Bud Dupree to like the next level of him is like it's I mean terrible. middle linebacker too I mean Vince Williams was back but I mean they're they're a pretty beat up team they are yeah defense but I mean especially. honestly the biggest problem was like these five yard outs. And slants are running into each it other. Was, it was literally insane that first half. I was I cannot believe, like, like this dude just can't throw the fucking ball. Then halftime, he gets a little 
Yeah. And he's fucking back to airing it up. Yeah, rest him up for, a, show for on, a week. Greatest show on listen, turf. Listen, who am I to judge? No. You do whatever you no, do. No, he should have been doing it. Like, what's Put he, up like, points. What's, what's he trying to be organic? Yeah, he wants yeah. to heal naturally? Yeah. You're I'm, I'm still hoping His arm's going to be fucked no matter what. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going yeah, to have a fucking elbow brace for the yeah. rest of his life. I mean, but so what? He's rich. Yeah, he'll, he'll be play, golfing. He's got to play right. a game his whole career. I'm yeah. still hoping yeah. it's what John said. Yeah. That it was like my, a, an my fucking dunk. wrist hurts from fucking shoveling snow on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. His dad shot him up. He shot him up at noon. You're going to get back out there, boy. Finish it. You better believe Sean's taking that course like shovel. <laughs> oh man It's fucking insane uh, what was Dude it? fucking losers Sending Juju's family like death threats And shit like yeah, that Yeah it's not Cause he was fucking dancing Fuck I can't imagine What losers what, How big of like a loser you have to, How does that he, How does that even register in your mind Like oh this dude This kid did a fucking dance on TikTok let me DM his mother and tell him I'm going to kill him <laughs> and her. Dude, the internet's it's a horrible place. I was just be like, what are you kidding on? That? Hor- That's fucking insane. I'll t- <laughs> like, think about that. Like, I'm going to DM the dude's mom? What happened was, they, I can guarantee you this, a bunch of nerds got brainwashed, and they start watching, like, every little YouTube clip and every ESPN show, and like, oh, look at Juju Dan. They never, like, get it, whatever, he danced, I could care less, I like Juju. They didn't show the part where the fucking dude went to Walmart and spent $25,000 and bought everyone's layaway toys, and, like, the dude's a good guy, like, I don't give a fuck if he dances. Yeah, like, me... dance all over that logo, he did. He did rip her Manny Brothers. He did. I wonder what happened on it. They really had to he do something. He got a bad sandwich. <laughs> he, he, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah he, I mean, you'll get one. I mean, sometimes you get Permani a bad sandwich. Brothers stinks. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. But I like Permani Brothers, but I've you, got a fucking you shit like, sandwich. You like, so if you're hungry, you're like, all right, what do you guys want to eat? You want to go to fucking Permani's? Like sometimes. sober? Yeah. That's so, Johanna loves it. Different That's call. fucking I go to the one Dude, in Oakland. I have noticed the, the one in Oakland is way, way I don't bad. go to like the waterfront or them chain ones. Yeah, I no, the waterfront. Yeah, the, the suburb Hermani Brothers get yeah. the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, they got, yeah. Like, they got, I don't like, want a piece of pizza. They got like pizza and like yeah. mozzarella sticks. I, I wouldn't call the waterfront the suburbs. It's no, like, no, it's no, a, no, ro- it's a stone throw away from Homestead. <laughs> no. But uh, I wonder what they fucking did. They had to do something pretty bad for him to just blast them like that. Like maybe it, somebody was like, somebody like talk shit. Maybe like, it was somebody who who DM'd his mom. That's dude. That's was waiting on. Him. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Getting somebody at. That's with, what yeah. I was like thinking. Like, it has some, to be some crazy dude like fucking like fucking loogie in his fucking he, sandwich. He probably started dancing shit. around while he was like <laughs> making his sandwich. Yeah. Wait, I mean maybe, that's funny. Yeah. Maybe Jimmy John's hit him with an envelope. Like dude, say mm-hmm. Manny sucks. Mm-hmm. Dude, we're taking over. Dude, but people are like, dude, like the juju is like getting polarized now because there's some people like, dude, you can't do that to like. One of the cities, like that's a staple of the city. You can't, fuck, dude. You can't I'm, trash fuck, them like yes, that. Yes, you can. Yeah. Fuck them. They're fucking. I'm not saying you can't. They're putting dog food in the middle of two fucking pieces of bread. Get the fuck out of here, Permani Brothers. <laughs> fucking the worst. I when bartending all those years, people were like, man, we're about to go to Permani's after this. I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> go to fucking Fatheads or go to fucking Uncle Sam's. Like this is fucking insane, dude. I'll take Permani like sandwich over Uncle Sam's any day of the week. That's. Blasphemy! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just telling you, dude. I, Jack dude. loves Uncle Sam. So dude, you're white trash. Talking about dog food. What are that steak? That steak hoagie? It's delicious. Horrible. What do you mean they have a fillet steak? Oh, sandwich. you're out of your mind, dude. It's fucking. It's the best sandwich in Pittsburgh. Give me a cap egg and cheese any day. Oh week. my god, you're eating fucking. Ugh. dude. For me, <laughs> that's like crazy. Dude. Like that's like people. I, you're getting me worked up here. Saying for Manny Brothers is better than fucking uh, Uncle Sam's. That's be honest, do you guys agree? You do you guys agree with them? No, I'm not a huge for Manny's guy. I'm not. I've never been a huge for Manny's guy though. But for Manny's or Uncle Sam's, I, I, Uncle Sam's. Don't go fuck yourself. Go <laughs> Shirley, what do you uh, me, you know what? I, I haven't had an Uncle Sam's in a hundred years, and for Manny's is only good when I'm drunk. But I haven't had Uncle Sam's. Todd, <laughs> is there an Uncle Sam's close by here? I'm a Permanent guy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He got, you know he is. He got his Turner's. He's like, yeah, I got he, my Turner's tea. We thought it a fucking Turner's tea. <laughs> <fucking thing. laughs> we, we just had, we just ordered, I don't, I got to eat it in the restaurant, though. I agree. We just ordered I agree. Out, it's it disgusting. It's yeah, so it's a, soggy. When you yeah, it's fucking, you're, the fucking bag's going to fall apart. <laughs> That's insane, John. I'm disappointed in you more than anything. I can't uh, believe you're back in Uncle Sam's like they make the best hoagie in, in the city. You I, know what? Honestly, I haven't eaten in 10 years. Maybe I'll try it again to get back to you next Yeah, week. it's delicious. It's literally <laughs> delicious. They got the best bre- – like the bread's unbelievable. That's fucking insane. We're going to hop into this New Year's? Yeah, the New Year's <laughs> spectacular. Yeah, start it off, my friend. What – uh, you guys got New Year's plans? Yeah, I'm <laughs> – 
Nobody wants to hang out with me at my house, apparently. So I no. told, I'm like, <laughs> uh, like some like w- one person was like talking about getting together, and then like the, the, it just like all stopped, and like I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Do you want to come over, Jack? <laughs> yeah, we went. I mean, over. dude, I, hang on. Like, dude, like, yeah, it's like everybody's like just staying home, and like everybody wants you to come to. Their, I'm like, dude, like I got three kids. They're that's what be I at was, the house. Yeah, I'm that's staying what, there. Yeah, that's what I would like. Lenny's like, no, I'm like, we'll just get some like good food and hang out. I was like, how fucking old are we? Dude, yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Like, I, I did, listen, I'm not hating on it either. No, like, I've I, done like, it before, gonna, though, but I'm going to do it. If there's nobody there, like, come around like 10 o'clock, you start like getting up and walking I mean, around like, right. shit. Is that <laughs> fucking well, dude, that's either going to happen or I'm going to be fucking asleep before fucking midnight. If, if I don't go out, I'm not making it past midnight. It's I'm, hard. I'm gonna well, you're, Lenny will definitely make you stay up because you like have to. Dude, she don't, I'll give her some weed. She'll fucking. <laughs> she'll just, yeah. she'll just pipe down. Good, in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it just slowly goes down and then she's out. And then I either, I either do this. I put myself on the moon or I watch TV and fucking <laughs> put myself on the moon. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going on the moon no matter what on New Year's. Yeah, I can, I can ima- like, my lady loves to go to bed early. There's no way she'll be up till midnight, and there's a real good chance I'll probably either end up on Facebook at midnight, like, liking people's statuses <laughs> and say Happy New Year, or I'll be playing Madden. Like, those, those are, like, my two options, like, fighting between, like, what am I going to do? Am I going to like people's stuff, or am I going to play Madden? Do you guys got to, uh... You got a bang pot. Is banging pots a pan still thing? I you mean, have I, little kids. Yeah, that's what I'm about. Yeah. Really, yeah, they're back. They're really into it, too. Are they? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. My time. dad, like, used to, he, like, we were really into it, too, I remember. Yeah, it my was, like, mom used to do that. My yeah. dad used to get pumped for that shit. And then he'd be like, we had, fuck, we ripped the fucking cabinets apart. My mom would be like, what the fuck? We had every fucking pot and wooden spoon out there going crazy. See, yeah. my parents did it right. They would dump me, dump me and my sisters off at my grandmother's. Every New Year's till like we got a little older, older, you know, yeah. what I mean? like yeah. they would just go off. So I, bu- but I bang them at my grandmother's <laughs> house like every year. Why don't you return the favor and fucking drop them off? <laughs> it's your mom. Yeah. yeah, I know the casino is closed, right? I believe it is till the yeah. fourth. So yeah. yeah, your mom's gonna be home until <laughs> until the fourth. <laughs> That's a good way. Like you want me to come over to first? You watch these kids on the thirty first. Yeah, I'll be yeah, able I'll to come, get. Yeah, I'll, come I'll over. be able to get them roughly around five p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Have the pork and the sauerkraut ready. Yeah. <laughs> You guys pork sauerkraut kielbasa yeah, guys yeah. New Year's. Yeah, yeah so my it's fire it is I, I didn't uh, like it at first now I love it. I, yeah that, it's, the older it's, I got the more it, I liked it it's a with it's an age thing for yeah, sure absolutely. but it's weird if, like we only really eat it like once a year like I mean, it's, that's I enough like, for me I like uh, I like you don't like kielbasa like, I do yeah I, do. I could I eat like more than one I mean dude if I'm at a picnic and someone's growing up yeah. kielbasa I'll eat a kielbasa sandwich uh, yeah, especially when you cut it down the middle the middle a little mustard yeah yeah you gotta burn that fucking thing fuck yeah yeah right it's like I like my glizzies burnt too my glizzards. Dude, dude my, the one side of my family used to throw glizzies in there with the pork and shit. I'm like, dude, get these glizzies. That's white trash. I've it is white trash. I've like, seen that done. I'm like, not a fan. Yeah, like crock block glizzies. Like, we can do it better. <laughs> That's like boiling hot dogs. Like, if, if you That's ever exactly what it is. Yeah, dude, someone's dude. like, I'm going to boil up some hot dogs when I was a kid. I'm like, no. You ever microwave one? Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> I used to do it all the time. Yeah, so. you do it to just... For uh, speed, easy, yeah. it would yeah. just split in half. And yeah, th- throw in the paper towel, fire it in there for like sixty seconds. It, yep. The bet, like they used to call it like the three quarter hostile light. You get a piece of bread, fire a microwave hot dog on there, and eat it real quick before the dude came out and seen you eating his hot dogs. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't have nothing to eat, you'd be like have to steal some glizzies. You know what I mean? Dude, like man, somebody ate all my hot dogs. Like damn dog, you'd have like a piece of you know what I mean mustard dribbling. Out. I don't know what happened. New Year's is one of the most. It is the most overrated like holiday. But I mean, I I can't think of like I never had like I had one really good New Year's I can think of. Besides that, I don't even know if I could remember another one. What do you made a t- like? Uh, let me ask you this: You made a ton of money over your lifetime working New Year's Eve. Over, it's an overrated money holiday too for bartending. You, you don't make as much as I'm thinking. Nah, you made. I mean, it's it's okay money, but it's like all pre-sold shit. Okay, uh, I get that. That's why I'm not remembering. I worked fucking a million. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I used to work every yeah. fucking New Year's Eve. It's a restaurant. Uh, yeah, it's it's everything's pre-sold, and if people fucking pre uh, like buy tickets already, they're not coming out with cash. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm like drink this absolute and cranberry for free till eleven. Like, yeah, you do, Zach. Get the fuck out. Of here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> You're supposed to tip still on top of that. Yeah, I mean, you make do you make a few hundred bucks, but like it's nothing. It's it's no St. Patty's uh, Day. St. Patty's Day. St. Right? Patty's Day. Like, dude, I'll tag in this fucking orange if they need me. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the one the one New Year's was like really good. It was uh, Y2K. 99 everybody thought the yeah, world was with ending. everybody so like people were hyped up for fucking new year's where day. were you at i'm about to tell the story <laughs> all right sorry. i was all over the place it was that's why i was fucking nuts uh we went to a house party over in like shady side uh 
it was Mara Bloom's had a house party. So, like, uh, she was in my grade all day. Uh. And fucking, she had a house party. It was cracking. There was a ton of people there. We stayed till midnight, got all banged up. I remember my, like, dad, I remember, like, it's the first night I had a cell phone. I was, like, pumped. I was, like, look at me on this fucking cell phone. Calling <laughs> everybody. Like, yeah, anybody need a fucking phone call? Because I, <laughs> I could do that. I don't think text messages was, wasn't in the game. <laughs> yeah. like, you didn't dude. even have caller ID back then. It was no, just, like just numbers. No, yeah, 42 numbers popped up across the screen. Uh, but I could call whoever the fuck I wanted to, that's for sure. Uh, so it was Y2K. So like I like snuck around the house. I find the I find the uh the fuse box or whatever. And at midnight, I pulled the fucking switch to the whole <laughs> house and fucking shut off all the fucking lights, the main thing. She was like rich, dude. So like all these alarms and crazy shit started like going off. Generators are firing up, yeah. dude. I still don't know. Somebody fucking punched the hole in her wall, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and and I I like flicked it back on. I was like, hmm. That didn't go like the way I wanted <laughs> right. it to. I don't even know if she knows I did it to like this to this day. <laughs> She's gonna find out now. Yeah, I know this fucking worldwide podcast we got going on. So fucking she wasn't mad to be honest with you. Like it was it, everything got calmed down. I think she had like a she had a house sitter there or something like a maid or she fucking handled it. A bunch of drunk kids in the basement. So then we uh we rolled from there and went over to Colleen Barry's house and she had like a little party. So this is party number two. And I had this one like dork like jumping through like the her Christmas tree. I was like, dude, he was so fucked up. And I was like, dude, you know it'd be crazy. And I, he's like, what's that? I was like, if you like jump through a Christmas tree, this idiot just ran through a Christmas tree. So she got all bent out of shape. So you were just fucking that. up everybody. I was yeah, I was on terror. Dude. Yeah. So then it, it's probably like it's probably like two, three, two, two in the morning. I bet me, DC, and Chance fucking go home, get all of her snowboarding shit. And drive up to Seven Springs, fucking. <laughs> Who drove you or DC? D drove, and then uh, me and Chance, and then uh, and we went up to fucking Kisa Series, fucking well, because he was having a party up at Seven Springs. He used to have a condo up. There. Yeah. So we get to Keys, fucking. I don't know, four in the morning or some shit, and like everybody's a fucking sleep. So fucking, we just like there was there was like a barrel there. We sat there, we fucking drank the barrel, chilled until it was like fucking. Uh, early enough to get up to go snowboard and got up snowboarded all fucking day and then came home Excellent. it was fucking it was pretty solid and then we almost wrecked on we almost wrecked right before the square hole tunnel <laughs> and almost died but we didn't so well, it was a pretty did, yeah. obviously yeah. <laughs> yeah so it was a pretty cool uh i mean that was it was just it was just like there's not too many nights where you get that many stops in one nah, night you, know, you, you travel from fucking shady side to seven springs and with a party in between just bouncing around moving yeah, targets hard we t- listening to the doors we were all <laughs> fucked up <laughs> 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 and, was, were was, you on the drugs nah i think i think me i, I, I think d stopped drinking because we like he thought we might do it go up and then that's I, responsible yeah i mean don't get me wrong he was still definitely drunk but he wasn't like <laughs> as drunk as he should have been as me and chance were <laughs> right and me and chance drank the whole way up or i would imagine but it was cool <laughs> it's a fun trip and then we got up there and like, and it was a nice ass day and we like, and really snowboarded all day i that's if pretty- i did if i did something like that like now i'd have to sleep for a week you know i think i came home you fuck, made me tired just listening yeah to if I, like, I think i just came home fucking ate some dinner went to bed and then the next day was the next day yeah, you could bounce back so much faster when you're younger. I remember, like, I like one of the, the – I don't know if it was, like, the funnest. It was pretty fun. And I was with, like, Davis, Schuster, the, the usual suspects. Yeah. And we were partying hard. And uh, it was, like, 3 in the morning. We're doing goondas, just having a time of our lives. And someone gets the idea, like, like let's go over Chaz Cravatas. He's having a party. And I remember we got there, and I was all gooned up. And I'm like, I got to shit so bad, dude. <laughs> and then, so, like, we get to Chazzy's, and no one called Chaz to see if we could come. And he had people over there, and he comes into it, yo, what's up, B? And we're like, dude, we're <laughs> and, Dave, and, like, dude's like, we're trying to come in. You know, it wasn't Dave's. It was Schuster, Guyney, and someone else, which I can understand why he didn't want all of us coming in there. <laughs> and then he was like, it's Schuster, like, you ain't going to let us in? And I'm like, dude, you got to let me in or I'm going to shit my pants. So he's like, no, dog, there's only too many people here. So I'm like, fuck this. So I start shitting in his yard, and Schuster's <laughs> throwing snowballs at the house. He's lucky it's just a snowball. I well, thought it was going to get way worse than it, that. Well, he ended up, he broke down. Like, all right, come on, dog, come on in here. So man. he lets you in after that. Wait, yeah. so you literally shit in his front lawn? I shit in his front yard. But it wasn't even like a disrespectful shit. It was like a, dude, I'm really going to shit my pants. He was like, <laughs> yeah. yo, B, I, didn't, I thought you was playing, dog, till I seen you pooping. And it was like, okay. 
You know what I mean? Like, my bad. So we went in Chazzy's and, like, party. In, in the cheeser's defense, like, if you don't want these dudes in your party, like, you and, like, you say you have to emergency shit, like, that, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. That, that's, a, that's, he, in the cheeser's brain, he was thinking, this is their in. Yeah, like, right, exactly. St- it, I'm going to let Z-Bird in. He's going to let them all in through the back door. Yeah, but, once one gets in, you're infested. But, yeah. at, but they it's actually. like a virus. Yeah, everyone was actually, like. <laughs> Super well behaved, like no one like got. I mean, dudes were like doing goons, so it was like one of them conversations. Like, yeah, I love you, man. But it was just, it was, it was a great. But I'll never forget. I shit in his yard, and like he seen me the one day. He was like, Yo, dog, remember you shit in my yard that one New Year's Eve? That was crazy, b. And I'm like, Yeah, it was. He was like, Remember you, you got to get a pair of socks off me? I'm like, Yeah, I do. I wiped my ass with a sock, but like I was, I was hoping you were gonna say something resolved because like I'm, I'll give you some time. But I, I think my like favorite New Year's Eve. Was probably when we were kids at your house. Yeah, when my dad was like, "Listen, don't get a hotel room, idiot. I'll take me and his his him and was his that ninety nine. That was ninety eight. Ninety eight. I don't think I was there. I don't know who was there. I know Schuster was there. <laughs> I, there was, I don't know who wasn't there. Like it was just like yeah. crazy. And then like uh, my dad got a hotel, so we just had to run to my dad's house. And like I don't know, everybody used to hang out back then. So. Like, my sister yeah, came I mean, home from a party at, like, 3 in the morning and drank with Carlo. Everybody kind of passed out, and Carlo, like, <laughs> stayed up. You know what I mean? Until everybody woke back up, and he was just sitting there all drunk. Like, I've been up all night. Yeah. No. Like, oh, yeah. And then he yeah, fucking he's... passed out. We wrote, fuck you, on his forehead. <laughs> and he just kept waking up. like, fuck you, Carlo. Like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> then Yogi puked on my rug and walked back to Greenfield. <laughs> Those were like the good old uh, house parties were the best of it. They as were. long as it wasn't your house. Yeah, that was stressful. That, but that house rest. you had, dude, that was, it was like huge, major. Yeah, strategy. that was the best. That was some of the best parties. That was such a good time. It was just stressful when dudes are just like rifling through your cabinets and fucking. <laughs> like you know. Davis has a drink out of your parents' like wedding cup. Yeah. He's like drinking there like that's normal. Like, like dude, dude you, put that back. You dude. took that out of like the china cup. Yeah. Davis. There's yeah. Like a million cups There's in there. There's red in the, cups. Yeah, right. Hey, Jay Bud put people's shoes in a microwave. Jay Bud was like making, <laughs> Jay Bud was making eggs. Yeah. And drinking like, dude, I don't know how old this With like a towel top. wrapped around him. No dude, clothes on. When my parents went to Hawaii, like I had that smasher and like dudes ate all my food for like 10 days. Like I had a 10 day supply. <laughs> Of food, dudes like ate all of it. I'd like call my uncle, like, dude, I need some money. I don't have any food. And there was like, dude, there was a ton of food here. I'm like, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I was really hungry. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Ghani ate six pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Schultz, you got a favorite New Year's? Uh, man, you know what? I, I that I, I didn't think of any, but that one at your house, that was that was probably uh, there was of the plenty of New Year's where we like we would all be like sitting outside, like, well, who is gonna let us in their yeah. house? Right. Well, dude. that's the thing. I was that late. happened a lot. Like I wouldn't be there twelve thirty. Everybody had their party, and I'd show up for like the aftermath. The one time we had that party down at uh, what's that? The Irish Center on Commercial. Oh yeah, oh, the rave. Yeah, yeah. Is that a rave? Yeah, yeah. we were all eating ecstasy. Well, it was a rave then. <laughs> yeah. that, that wasn't a bad time from what I remember of it. That, see, that one I thought was 99, like when it was just like the new millennium. And then I think Leon had the, the New Year's Eve party Down the in Irish 99 Center. In, at the Irish Center. I remember that. that was I thought good, you had a party. Yeah, but that one, like that was like one of them times it snowed and nobody knew what they were doing. and like Yeah, yeah. It was, that's that's it why wasn't, we were like going to Summit Springs. It was like snowing out. We're like, right, just, right. So fresh powder. That's the it. thing now. Like everybody, like you people can't do shit now anyway. Right. Yeah. And no one likes to commit to anything. Like Right. No. Plus like, the, even if they're, like, they're selling tickets at a bar. Like, dude, maybe I want to go to that bar. Maybe I don't. Like, with, with social media, too, like, back in the day when you guys had that New Year's Eve party, like, now if you put on social media, like, hey, big party here, blah, blah, like, you could get a lot more. It was right. easier to get. It's easier to get the word out there, now. There that was one a, we were doing flyers for, remember? Yeah, that one didn't work out. No. <laughs> I, think I, lo- like, I think I lost a ton of money on that one, so I don't want to talk about that. But there, <laughs> there was a good one at, at the Donardo's. At like so I don't know what grade that fucking was. That, yeah, we were. That I, was my we were, junior senior year. Was at the Irish Center with Leon. That had to be like before that. Where Schuster did like a head over heel. He was drunk as fuck. <laughs> tumbles down a step like does a somersault like a stunt man. Comes comes back up the steps trying to fight somebody for pushing him down the step. <laughs> when no one touched him, I'm like, I, get me the fuck away from him. That's when fucking Davis like put the champagne bottle in his ass. And like, right when he's passed out. <laughs> It could have been that. Yeah, he's passed out like directly in the Donardo's like living room. He got his cheeks busted. Uh, I got his cheeks. Dude, busted. <laughs> dude, he, dude, when he came back up the steps, his shirt was all wet. His like glasses were cooking. Dude, fucking pushed me down the steps. Like, dude, dude, dude you just fell. Like, I swear to God, you... so- someone puked all over all over Frank's prayer books. I think that was that time too. For Where him... was Frank that time? Because Frank. He's probably know, Frank's the Donardo's dad. Uh, he was working at the hotel or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. at work. 
fuck him. He would have I leave my house, it turns into the fucking boys club over here. I mean, in his defense, it did. It did, absolutely. We'd be waiting for him to go to work. (laughs) What about uh, New Year's resolutions? You guys got any? Uh, You guys got anything? I mean, Uh, I I don't get what you got, Rosalia. I, I hate New Year's resolutions. Yeah, it's stupid. I feel like it's like no one's trying to drink less or anything. Yeah. Right? How can I? Yeah. How can I'm I say? Trying, I'm trying you to drink more that, efficiently. Yeah, you say that, then you get fucked up on New Year's, and the next day you're like, hate yourself. I'll never drink. No, you're again. yeah, you're hungover, and then you're drinking right. two days in a row because you feel like shit. Right. <laughs> you got to shake it off. A little yeah. bit. I remember, like, I was like, like at one of the, I was at a twelve step meeting, and this kid was like in there, and he was like struggling, and he was like, this New Year's. I'm, He's like, he's like, that's it, man. My New Year's resolution, I'm going to get sober. And the, the old dude was like, you ought to try it tonight, pal. You don't smell too good, and it don't look like life's going too great. I wouldn't wait those four days. <laughs> it made me think. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, if you're waiting on New Year's, what, like, what, what are you even doing I'll there? How serious right. are you yeah, about right. this? I think he was like forced. He was a slip signer, they call him. People that are forced uh, by the courts. But, like, that was, like, the thing. Like, I think if you, like, want to make a change or something, like, fucking do it. Don't wait for New Year's because people always go, New Year, New Me. And, like, I don't – I can't even tell you someone that I know that has made a dramatic change on a New Year's. No. Like, like, dude, you remember they were all fucked up. New Year's came and they were just, like, took off. He just Everything woke up. Changed. Like, Everything changed. Like, this is different. We'll start hitting the gym for, like, a month and then it will die off. Yeah, dude, that's a fucking annoying thing about New Year's. Like, then you'll hear, like, people, like, fucking gym, fucking one month. They're just fucking crowded. Like, shut up. Yeah, yeah you'll have those people, too. One month. What do you hate I more, the people at the gym or the people that bitch about the people at the gym? The people that bitch about the people yeah, at the gym. Yeah. I mean, the people at the gym, I mean, good for them. They're taking the first step. Right. Some fucking goof that sits in there six hours a fucking day <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> crying about how many people they are. It's not your gym. You pay thirty nine ninety nine like the rest of you. Right. <laughs> fucking, uh... <laughs> uh... I got, like, one. I got I to gotta figure something out. What food to eat when I'm like when I smoke weed at night? Because like I can't I can't buy snacks and it be there and me being high. Like I, this has been an ongoing issue. I just I, I devour it. Right, you ever eat when you're high for sure? Yeah, like dude, I just ate like fucking a million like homemade peanut butter crackers last <laughs> night. <laughs> Did but, you make the peanut butter? Crackers? Yeah, homemade peanut butter crackers. You never remember? Never, never Ritz. Know. Oh, you mean put, you put yeah, smeared peanut butter? Yeah. Motherfucker, that ain't homemade. Yeah, what do you mean? So, but why, when I say peanut butter crackers, I don't want people to think like the packet, the, the oh, orange yeah. guys, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm fucking. What I'm kind like, of crackers? Uh, I'm going whole wheat because, you know what I mean? Oh. I'm trying to keep it tight. <laughs> 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 but when you eat a whole sleeve of those motherfuckers and a half a jar of peanut butter. Mm, right. right. Plus, you got to <laughs> wash it down with something. Water ain't hitting right when you're all stoned. Nah, out of Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking weird combo for I, I, I like i like i got i got something i like got like a sprite like the day before and i had half of it, it dude and your high sprite is fire oh yeah it quenches your thirst yeah. it's, it's fire when you're so it tickles yeah. all the way down a little fizzly bubbly i like a good so i don't sprite. know i gotta figure out i just can't buy anything i'm gonna try to like eat like peanut butter and bananas high but like i can't not need <laughs> i don't know it's a, it's a major pickle yeah. for me have you been doing them cookies still that insomnia even no, no. You laying off I, the cookies? Yeah, I, like, I've, I actually forgot about them, so thanks for putting that You think there would be something at, like, a Whole Foods for, like, stoners? That's that, like, what, like, to, dude, to like keep a them stoner's for, aisle. Yeah, yeah, for, like, getting too fat. Yeah, like, give me something where I could fucking... Organic like, Twinkies. Yeah. Like, <laughs> cereal, yeah. <laughs> the cereal is usually a good thing one. ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people say, like, dude, like, make a smoothie. Like, I don't want to make a fucking smoothie. You it's start banging the I'm blender stunned. at fucking midnight. That's what I was yeah. going to say. I'm sitting stunned. You're like, ring. <laughs> That's when you <laughs> chop your finger off trying to, like, <laughs> nah, I got a ninja. I'll be all right. <laughs> it's still loud as fuck, though. Yeah. I don't know. It's a fucking issue. Um, but I'll figure it out. All right, everybody. I think that's everything. We're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back with more Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Are you sick and tired of partying with the same old, same old and getting the old boring results? Looking for something maybe different? You need to try Espelon Tequila. Two shots for a good time, three shots you might go get a package, and four shots you and your friends are getting on a plane to Vegas. Espelon Tequila, the official tequila of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Man, the other day I went to the hunting supply store and I got a cooter detector and it goes beep, 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 and I'm driving through the side side. Next thing I know, that thing starts going off like crazy. 
beep, 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 beep. It took me right into 12 Whiskey Barbecue at 1222 East Carson Street. Man, that cooter detector is the best thing I ever bought. I ain't never seen so much cooter in my life. When I went in there, I couldn't believe my eyes. I never seen so much cooter. I went in there for the cooter, but then I looked at the menu, and the food was delicious. Some of the best barbecue in the burg. Not only that, they had every drink I could ever think of. So 12 Whiskey Barbecues filled with cooter, barbecue, and good drinks at 1222 East Carson Street. Make sure you stop down if you like cooter, barbecue, and drinks. 10-4. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's about that time of the year. It looks like all the leaves are falling. Next, the snow comes. And then after that, when the winter clears, you're going to need everything pressure washed. That's why you need to call Rosado & Sons Landscaping, located in Greenfield. Phone number 412-521-9045. Make sure you call Rosado & Sons Landscaping before you call anyone else. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're like me, you probably have appliances in your house. TVs, ovens, dishwashers, microwaves, all types of stuff. That shit's going to break. And when it does, make sure you call Primetime Appliance, 412-896-1395. They deal with all insurance and warranty companies. They do all the work. All you have to do is call 412-896-1395. Primetime Appliance. Give them a call. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're having car problems right now, there's not really too many places to go that you can trust. One place you can is Meineke Car Care Center, located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. They handle everything, not just oil changes, but brakes, maintenance, everything. So if you need, if you have car trouble and you need help, make sure you call Meineke Car Care Center, 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin, phone number 412-451-451. 8968 and ask for Arthur. What's going on, everybody? It's almost that time of the year where you got to go get your sidewalks or your steps fixed. And I don't trust a lot of these idiots out here right now. I really don't. Thank goodness Giuseppe and Sons is in the area and they're always on the job. If you're looking for any type of masonry work this season coming up, please call Giuseppe and Sons 412 421 6711 and make sure you tell them Rocco sent you, huh? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Before we get started, it looks like Espelon's in the house. The boys are going to take some shots to stun the official tequila of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Make sure you get your bottle for this New Year's because you're going to need it. Uh, you were like, take the shot to stun. <laughs> are, they, uh, are they doing like, are they dropping the ball and all that shit? I think so. Yeah. I don't I'm think sure it's not going to be there's packed, no, There's not going to be anybody in time yeah. or in the square, but. That's gonna be like a it's gonna be virtual, yeah. <laughs> virtual ball dropping. I'll virtually <laughs> drop my balls. <laughs> Get I'll do it for Dude, real. Did you see that uh, on the internet that uh, they're selling a ball jacuzzi for your balls? You like dig your balls in it? A ball jacuzzi. A ball jacuzzi. That sounds brilliant. It's actually. just it's, it's a looks like a, it almost looks like a little like toilet, and, but it's like two like cups for your nuts. <laughs> it's and they, like a little tea cup that yeah. you set your, your what, What's the in. benefit? Uh, you soak your nuts. <laughs> Dude, that's. I don't. I mean, like health benefit. I don't know, John. I yeah, think. I mean, what? Yeah, just, people just like you know what? It I really feels, wish. I only great. want to soak my nuts. Is there bubbles going? Yeah, there's a little bubble bath. Like, oh, it's no, like that a ain't jacuzzi. Bad. <laughs> yeah, like to sit back. I, don't, I mean, I don't know how great it'd be, but like. <laughs> I mean, if it's are, are if too, it's cost efficient, I might try it. Yeah, you too good to soak your no, nuts. No, no, I just never. You know, you can, it, you, it never crossed my mind either. Right. But like, yeah, you could just get in like a hot tub too, and then you get the whole lower half. But I'll give it, it a whirl. Yeah, but this focus directly. Not on only, yeah, 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 focus. The, the, see, that's the thing about the nuts; they don't get like the attention that it, like, it's concentrated. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and they, I like that. They don't get it, but I mean, no one ever just like really focuses on your nuts. So like, it's, it's a nice, nice treat. They, that, that might be like a new masturbation pool. You know, what I mean? you get the nuts. Purring, yeah, so get the nuts purring. Feed and, your geese. Yep, feed the geese. I mean, <laughs> my girlfriend listen. could be like, "What's that little <laughs> testicle hot tub doing out again?" I'm like, "It's a little bird bath." You know, listen. If if your if your nuts are taking a soak, there's no way you're not feeding. Your <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it co- that's like peanut butter and especially, jelly, especially guys. with the bubbles going, dude. Like, yeah, that's like, all I need is that mess. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, you're gonna have to get in the bathtub just to fucking so it's not all over the place. You have to call the pool guy, <laughs> yeah. right? How am I gonna do that in the living room? There's too much chlorine in here, <laughs> dude. There's a, they. I know they had like a little jacuzzi for your fingers. Because I had to do it one time. I cut my finger at work, and I kept trying to get pain pills, and they made me go to physical therapy. So they literally like sent me to this guy, and he was like, 
he was like, I don't know. They had finger exercises where I was like lifting a pencil with my finger and I'd like fake, like stress out, like, oh, it's getting to be too much. <laughs> he was like, it's time for us. You try to soak it now after the stitches came out. And I'm like, okay. And I put it, it looked like a little coffee cup and it was a little jacuzzi, I swear to God. I swear Did to God. you ever walk in and he had his balls in that cup? No. <laughs> his balls on my chin so I could get that strip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So we got a corn of the week this week. Uh, Cam Newton. Did you see his schedule? Uh, you sent like, it. To why, me. why do people like say this? He said he wakes up at what four twenty, and then he's out of the house by four thirty. <laughs> yeah, and then fucking <laughs> doesn't take a sip of coffee till eight a.m. That, that's just a complete fucking lie. It's just the whole thing is bullshit. Well, first of all, you don't need the coffee then. If you made it from four to eight and you're right, feeling okay, right. well, then fuck the coffee. You made it. Right. It said a sip of coffee. It didn't say he had a coffee. It said he has it a is. sip of coffee. Well, yeah, yeah. His first sip. His first sip. So, yeah. So, like, dude, it's just like, that's just not true. No. Like, what, like, what, what's the point of lying? What do you need to get? You, uh, I'm just groggy for yeah. four hours and then I drink my coffee. <laughs> you're, you're getting up to go work out all day. So, yeah. why the fuck do you have to be up at 430 in the morning? To Unless you're just banging some pre-workout. Then the car. All right, if you get up at four twenty, you're not leaving your house by four thirty. You got to brush your teeth, wash your face. Take That's what. Yeah, yeah, that whole thing was fucked. Up. It's just, it's just not true. There's a lot of plot holes here, my friend. Cam, Cam Newton, he's just, he's, he's just a weird. A, cat. He's a weird dude. Dude, part of me just wants to go like fucking sit in front of his house for a week and see <laughs> yeah. what time he fucking leaves. <laughs> yeah, see what time the light turns uh, on. Yeah. Yeah. I want the private investigator on this. Yeah, I like, wish I had a private investigator. Me too. <laughs> like Ari Gold, he yeah. just fucking called the dude. But like, listen, I, if I was like dumb, if I was like rich. This is the shit I'm like, dude. You gotta go stake out Cam Newton's house for fun. <laughs> right, week. it wouldn't be anything Just, important. Yeah, and I wouldn't like. I would. I, I, I would. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> My wife's cheating on me. Like, who cares? Let yeah. her go. She's she's, she, she's been, been happy lately. <laughs> right. She left me alone. I, I, yeah, I need to know if Cam Newton's lying about this. Or not. <laughs> right. And no, I wouldn't. Really I don't even up. think I'd tell anybody. I just have to know my own satisfaction. Like, I knew that was fucking light. No, know? no, I'd expose him once I found out. That I don't know. About, bullshit. I, I definitely like. I definitely like sent him a DM. Like, hey, Cam. Like, I know that was. Light. I knew <laughs> it. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm, I'm gonna not, not going to blow up your spot, but like, you're a weirdo for lying saying you wake up before thirty. Wearing those silly hats. What do you like saying something like that? Like, is that the do you think like people are going to perceive you like, man, he's an a awesome hard guy. worker? Yeah, like, get the fuck. He don't even need he's coffee. Real... He's so much. He has so and much then, energy. And then, and then he said he, he goes to bed at eleven thirty. Like, well, first of all, Cam, you're not getting enough sleep. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you're not getting anywhere amount to the uh, recommended number that a doctor right. says you got to sleep at night. So, like, what are you saying? Like, you're like a superhero that doesn't he's need superhuman. Sleep? Yeah. yeah like, well, then don't drink the coffee. Yeah, <laughs> tough guy. That don't impress me, idiot. Yeah, <laughs> you impress me. Don't go to sleep. Do blow all night and then go to your work. Yeah, right. tell me mm-hmm. the working man's a sucker. <laughs> so fucking Marky Mark uh, came out with his like daily schedule, which was fucking absurd. But at least this like makes more sense than what Cam's did. So Mark Wahlberg wakes up at two thirty in the morning <laughs> with some super hot chick laying mm-hmm. next to him. His wife. Well, okay. I didn't say his wife. I just said, nah, I think he's like a family man these days. <laughs> he had it all. Uh, so 2.30 in the morning, he wakes up. He prays until uh, 2.45, so 15 minutes of prayers. I'm not buying well, it. That's a lot of prayers. Yeah, that's a lot of our fathers. Uh, <laughs> 3.15, breakfast time. 3.40 to 5.15, he works out. 5.30 a.m., post-workout meal. <laughs> 6 a.m. He's getting in the shower finally. <laughs> hour and a half shower. <laughs> hour and a half. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he's soaking his, his nuts. He got the yeah. ball koozie. He got the ball koozie going. <laughs> so 7:30 golf, whatever the fuck that means. He's golfing. Uh, well, he well no, he got that. He got a suite set up in his backyard where it's like a. He got like a par three set up. Oh. Uh, and like all turf, like sand traps and shit. It's pretty legit. So I guess he golfs for a half hour. Then 8 a.m. snack time. So we got an hour and a half snack here. That's a lot of snacking. <laughs> Nine thirty, the the cryo chamber recovery. In his house, he has I'm, it. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Another snack time at ten thirty. So my man is in breakfast and two snacks by ten thirty a.m. What the fuck's he do with the rest of his day? Well, listen, I'm getting through it. I'm only halfway through it. <laughs> Fucking eleven a.m. Family time meetings, work calls. So that's two hours. We get to lunch at one o'clock. 2 o'clock, meetings, work calls. 3 o'clock, he picks up the kids from school. How does he spend a time at 11 and then they're at school? What kind of school do they go to? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so, that, I mean, that's a lie. 
Yeah, yeah family <laughs> time. He put all three of those together, so yeah, it's meetings, no yeah, family time. Right. Yeah, We're on to your shit. Yeah, don't, you, don't Lying motherfuckers. you don't even know your kids. <laughs> uh, so one, we got lunch. Two, we got more meetings and work calls. <laughs> Like, bro, you have like you have an agent. What are you He's talking about the Wahlburgers. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Pa- everybody knows Paul runs the Wahlburger shit. Yeah, yeah. And fucking Mark ain't doing fucking shit. <laughs> he ain't even. Right. Right. He's not talking about yeah. recipes. Yeah, he pops he pops up in for the fucking grand opening. Fucking says hello and he's on and back on his fucking jet. Paul's in the back fucking flipping <laughs> burgers like a fucking his ass yeah. Yeah. doing dishes. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta earn it, Paul. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's back here fucking on the fries. <laughs> <laughs> Because fucking Sean called off for the third time this fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> fucking poor Paul. Anyway, where was that? Meetings, work calls, 3 o'clock kids, 3.30, he has another fucking snack. Uh, 4 p.m., workout number two. 5 p.m., shower. 5.30, dinner time slash family time. 7.30, he's in bed. So at least he leaves enough time where he gets the recommended amount of sleep. So, like, you can't say this is, like... This is exaggerated, but I bet you this psycho keeps pretty close to something like yeah. this. See, I, I, Cam Newton is just, that's just a that's lot. an okay schedule. Maybe slide it to nine thirty to two hours so, yeah, instead I mean, of waking up at two thirty. Wake yeah. up at four thirty. Two thirty in the morning, what right? The you're going fuck? to set that at seven thirty. You're you know like. You hate your. You're family. You're missing a lot of life. If you you hate your. Your family. kids aren't going to bed at seven thirty. You can't watch the Monday night football game. Right. You can't even catch the kickoff. People get up at two thirty in the morning to start their life. Hate their family. Oh yeah, they're they're yeah they're, <laughs> they're putting, avoiding they're, something. They're yeah. working the night shift. Two thirty in the morning, like people are strolling out of bars. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like, what are you talking about, Marky Mark? Maybe he hates his family. <laughs> he gets what I'm saying. Yeah, I think you're onto something. I mean, everybody wants to get away from their family any chance they get. <laughs> right. But like to strategically get up at two thirty in the morning and not go to bed at seven thirty. I mean, he probably got a personal trainer. Do you think he, he a, got it all? I mean, he don't get me I mean, but at two thirty in the morning, yeah, you got to be here at two thirty. And dude's like, yeah, if he's paying you, if, five, yeah, I, I guess a couple say, hundred bucks an hour, or whatever the fuck you. Like, I'll do whatever. The the fuck, yeah, I'll be there whatever time you want, Palomino. <laughs> yeah. All right, so he's a weirdo too. But he's a weirdo. I mean, that's what people just don't know what to do with their money. My schedule would be totally different. I'm like, what's your schedule? Get a coke till seven. <laughs> <laughs> but you would have like the guys there to help you recover. You know what I mean? Like yeah. saline right. bag from um, yeah. from like, eight to eight thirty. Yeah, yeah, it's an oxygen chamber. Vitamins, yeah. <laughs> Ball koozie, six fifteen to six thirty. <laughs> and then again later on. <laughs> Second geese feeding. Yeah. Seven o'clock. Lie to girlfriend why the ball koozie's hot. <laughs> why is the ball koozie in the living room in front of the 82 inch TV? I don't know. <laughs> oh, can I play Madden and relax? You know what I mean? So rich that you have like multiple ball koozies in each room. <laughs> right. so you don't even got to get up and like go upstairs to get your ball koozie. You have them strategically placed yeah. throughout the house. Oh, dude, that's great. Fucking hot. Uh, <laughs> so, and then Mitch McConnell. Comes in his corn dick of the fucking. He takes this year. <laughs> I, Bill Peduto was a fucking runaway with this, and old Uncle Mitch comes sliding in fucking yeah. in the last second, denying us from our two stacks. Now, how did he deny it? Because I, I haven't been watching. He uh, what, what was he? What he, was his reasoning? In- he didn't give a reason, but he they they had to have a unanimous vote. He stood up against it and said that there was too much money being allocated to too many places, and it was going to cause too much debt. And like, well, no, like, he was bitching because like they were spending shit on ten million other things besides just the stimulus. But that was know? before the that was before yeah, this so was totally this different. Isn't the this ju- was completely the, separate. Oh, yeah. was uh, it? Yeah. Oh, so he just is a corn dick then. Yeah. yeah. Today was strictly for the stimulus. They pe- the, Trump signed that uh the the original bill Sunday night. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday or Monday night, and then this was just they were I'm pretty sure they were just voting on the stimulus, and then fucking old Uncle Bernie was trying to get us in there for the two stacks. Cause like fucking, of I course, think everybody. Of course, the Democrats are gonna fucking say yeah to that. I'm like, okay, like fucking give them, give me three stacks. Yeah, we'll take it. Fucking, <laughs> they got the money. Well, I don't know if they got I the don't money, know, but they could, they could, they could print it or put it digitally, put it in the computers, whatever they gotta do these days. Yeah. Just make it up. Is it real anyway? <laughs> it's not fucking real at this point. It can't be. No, there's no gold in fucking. Uh, no, what's it called? You know, Fort Knox. Fort Knox. Fort Knox. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just think about like all that like digital money like just being passed around. Like there's no doesn't exist that's like it's it cracks me up when people are like bitcoin's worth like 28 i'm like don't you wish you would have got in on it like dude I, I didn't even graduate high school yeah i don't even know mm-hmm. i mean i understand yeah. the concept mm-hmm. of it i have no idea how yeah. that works did you cash any of that bitcoin in yet yeah right exactly <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like i can't believe you didn't get in on bitcoin really i like just got sober off heroin a couple years ago i thought bitcoin <laughs> was like a cereal from the 80s dude <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Yeah, so we uh, I think we're supposed to get 600 tomorrow, though. Uh, oh, take hey, tomorrow? That's, that's, Listen, that's what I read when you guys were late. And I was sitting dude, honestly, on. $600 isn't helping anybody. No. 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 Two grand's I a good look. I mean, I'll take it. It's going to sell some PlayStations. Yeah. That's, like right. the, that's the worst right. thing. Yeah, you're going to be able to get a PlayStation in a I game. Mean, I, Motherfuckers are starving. <laughs> those are right. PlayStation. Listen, I bought golf clubs with my last stimulus. <laughs> if you were starving, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. Motherfuckers are, like, for real hurting. Yeah, the people are, like, about to be evicted. That 600 don't even cover the rent. Right. Fuck no. But the thing is, if like you're in a position where six hundred dollars is gonna make or break you, you're probably not that good with money to begin with. Where I, you know, yeah. I mean? So buy the PlayStation. Yeah. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy you till you get evicted. Yeah, I mean, people have been like super duper fucked. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> for I, what? I, quite a while. Yeah, for like nine months. So like six hundred dollars is literally a fucking slap joke. in the face. But it, I mean, it's maybe somebody get their fucking heat on or some shit. I yeah. Yeah. Two racks would have. Two racks. If you have more kids, you get five hundred. That's yeah. Two thousand dollars. I could probably push nice you to the spring change. for some people. Yeah. At least they yeah. get back to work or something. You know. Yeah. Two thousand. I'd be able to get a new drivers and fucking <laughs> a couple <laughs> hybrids. You know what I mean? Like we would have right. been, been cooking. But whatever. Yeah. This New Year's Eve party been way more lit. <laughs> 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 That's definitely Maybe I'd have got somebody to come over. Yeah, and now now your six... charcuterie boards would be made of Lunchables. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that <laughs> stimulus is going to be getting people stimulated. That's about it. Get that ball koozie. Yeah. On Amazon Prime. I think they're like 40 beans. We, we could, all, gonna, we could all get a ball koozie if we want. Can we? Z-Bird, you might have to hit Z- ball yeah. koozie up. You know, I'm going to send him an email tonight and be like, yeah. listen, I got... I'm, we're your guys. Right. We already deal with national sponsors. You want to get rich? You choke them balls and you trim them balls and you're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Manscaped should have, just rip that idea and make their own ball koozie. Right. we got to tell Manscaped. Unless there's a that. patent. Oh, there's definitely a ball patent. <laughs> a testicle koozie patent. <laughs> with, um, yeah, but you could make up a different name. Yeah. Testicle koozie instead yeah. of the ball koozie. Bill Peduto really locked out with Mitch McConnell pulling out. Really Saved did. his ass. Dude. Especially with all these problems with the streets being the fucked streets up. Be- dude, Peduto's ass is in a jackpot. Dude, <laughs> yeah. dude Peduto besides the plowing. Dude. Oh, dude, fucking, I can't even believe I fucking didn't even put this in the fucking show notes. The fucking forklift fell through the fucking strip see, district yeah, the other day. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Was, that was the, uh, last night. Or was that another yeah, pothole? Yesterday. Another sinkhole? Another sinkhole? Fucking dude was on a fucking forklift. He went right through the fucking street <laughs> on like thirty third <laughs> down on Penn Ave. I like right, right the city's the like trip. washing away. <laughs> Jack dude, sent me that. I was dying, dude. Dude, I, like you hear what the city said that they were like, oh, that's because a private line broke and it. Yeah, was they, they were. They were like, come on, dude. That fucking pipe was like seven thousand. They were like years fixing old, a water dude. line like somewhere down there. Something's le- somebody fucked up. Dude, there's yeah. a lot of fucking. Dude, my recycles may get picked up every other week. <laughs> Maybe they won't. Maybe it'll sit on the curb. They're for... all going in the same spot anyhow. Don't fucking. Matter. I know. They don't even recycle them. No dude, but dude, Johanna's like, like uh, dude, Johanna will be washing the recyclables to put them in this bag. <laughs> and one day, Joe was so mean? pissed. She'll wash like a fucking jelly jar. No, she won't. Listen, listen. I swear to God. This dude was so pissed the one day. He was like, he's like, she <laughs> spent, she spent, That's he's fucking like, crazy. Dude, this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> he's like, she spends 500 gallons of water just rinsing out fucking recyclables. These motherfuckers never come. <laughs> <laughs> they come and throw it away. I, they come and throw it away. So you run out of jelly, and Johanna washes that fucking jelly mm-hmm. jar out. And then puts in a recycle. Yeah, like, if you're going to use it for something. Yeah. Like. Make your. I don't know what the hell you would use. Yeah, if you're, nice if, class if, you're in a, if you're in a craft, I guess like good uh, craft. <laughs> but that I mean, craft. Yeah, don't wipe out that jiff, that jiffy peanut butter thing. Just throw it. Wait, she's getting the peanut butter out. Smears out. Of the, I don't want to talk about it. No, we <laughs> gotta talk about it. Now. Yes. <laughs> so like, when you're out of syrup, she like rinses. She like cleaning out the syrup fucking bottle and everything. Yeah, because you have to. Other, uh, she's like, they said they won't take it or they'll just throw it away. So you're saying there's some asshole with the recycling plant. Like, no, we got a little Dirty. bit of jelly in this, and he's Dirty. fucking throwing it over his right. head. But when Johanna's crystal clear, <laughs> right, fucking, that's getting the green back. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, it's funny. <laughs> That's, listen, I got, listen, I got listen, bad news for you, buddy. That's just not true. Jack, I know that. <laughs> Everybody in this room knows that. Johanna, she's a rule follower, apparently. Apparently. You know, if it says on the recycles, do not throw loose paper I've, in the recycles. Guess what I'm doing? Throwing loose paper. Throwing loose, yeah, like if the loo- you can't throw this loose uh, giant eagle bag in here. Why not? Is it all melt- melting together? Yeah, that's fucking nuts, man. I like kind of remember that being a thing like back in the day. Like people, like they were saying, like wash it out, but like. I haven't heard of that. You thought 20, it was, you thought it was soap and hot water. Just you, you, it's cheaper to make a new one. <laughs> I mean, that's time consuming. Yeah, it's water consuming. That's it's water. It has to heat the yeah. motherfucker. Fuck the water, just the time. And then, and then they don't even come pick them up. And she's like, "Should we give them a Christmas gift?" I'm like, "No, the garbage men will get it. The recycle guys, they're the worst. Yeah, they they're the stink. prima donnas of waste management. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they're not getting dirty." 
No, Especially at your crib. Give yeah. clean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my clean jelly jam <laughs> yeah. and a couple uh, couple uh, Kirkland water bottles. <laughs> Does she she don't wash the ro- water bottle. No, but she right. takes the lid off because you can't leave the lid on. Oh, uh, dude, I fucking... Listen, they, they, they tried to find me one time. They said, you don't recycle enough. What? No. Yeah, the city. You so, think you're, but the feds are watching you. That, I, I don't know, dude. I'm like, man, a good thing That's you didn't go through John. the regular garbage. You know? I mean, she's just going to get kooky and kooker with this. Dude, we, we think I have panic order. attacks. What do you think <laughs> <going on? laughs> this is just the beginning. Uh, yeah, that's a, you know, not even an argument. It's just like, are What's you going? Yeah. yeah. That's like one of those things I'd be more scared of than even like. Just dude, like, the, oh, one, the one day okay. I was so mad. Like, okay, <laughs> you wash your jam jars. I'm going to the hey, other if room. That makes you happy, man. Do it. Wash away. Right, you might as well keep it. I want to keep it. I got five million gym, you know. Yeah, I think I'd rather keep. Yeah, they go to collection. Like, oh yeah, we keep our jam. John's gonna start filling them up with coins. Or yeah. just yeah. In the backyard. Or maybe like make some homemade jam or some shit and then yeah. rejam the jars. Rejam it. Yeah, don't give, don't clean it for the recycling people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad somebody. I, maybe I thought I was going crazy. I, can't I thought believe, I was the asshole. For I cannot what. believe this has never been a gear grinder. <laughs> I don't know how I passed it up. <laughs> maybe I, I don't know. I just got used to it after so long. <laughs> it's gonna be. I'm Dude, gonna be shit in the washing machine. I swear to God, like the like the the dishwasher. Like you open it up, like yeah, fill with jam, jam jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the great. We had, yeah, to run, the we had to run that through a cycle. <laughs> yep, that's fucking waste of fucking. To be pat, smashed a, a in the fucking Tide pod on that jet, or whatever the you fuck. Do yeah, some jet yeah. On that ketchup, bucket. ketchup bottles, mustard <laughs> bottles, everything. <laughs> We're trying to just go a whole bunch of empty containers and yeah, I thought he was collecting. Dude, I've been to waste management in Turtle Creek because I like got at a bathroom once and I went there. It was a huge fucking hole in the earth. Yeah, and I, believe me when I tell you, the recycling trucks were there dumping. Along with the the garbage truck, <laughs> same hole, all getting pushed over, and they could fill this motherfucking hole for two hundred years. Yeah, yeah the, the place in Hazelwood is a complete front. That's not really a recycling plant. They say it is, and they have a bunch of shit there, but I, I never, don't even think I'm, they I'm, operate. They there's probably a, only uh, use the clean jam jars. Dr- it's not yeah. enough. <laughs> there's like one <laughs> asshole driving around a forklift. Yeah, <laughs> I drove. I drive past her all the time to buy gravel, and it's like, dude, is this place like a ghost town or what? They they hire all their employees from a halfway house right by there. Uh, Re- but dudes told me that they they do recycle. Like they'll pick the metal up, but then they go scrap it. Yeah, like, there's a scrap yard right next door. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> seems like the only thing we ever pick out is metal, like aluminum mm-hmm. and copper, and then. It's like the boss gets at. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's something else. <laughs> that's a good racket if you're the boss, though, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to, I think, it's, I think Johanna cleaning out jam jars is going to be my gear grinder. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. You know, uh, maybe somebody else says it to her, like, what are you doing? She'll stop. Yeah, how about the text? They're like, hey, crazy. You all right? Right. Yeah. right you really need to clean out this this, ke- this Heinz ketchup? That, you know what I mean? Like, Dude, you need a vacation. <laughs> yeah, lighten up. We got three kids. We got more yeah. problems than the jam jar. That's what I mean. That's crazy. All right. Uh, brother in arms. Uh, Dave Portnoy and Barstool. They're over 9 million raised. Dude, small that's businesses. awesome. Dude, he, he's the man. He yeah. is the man. He, Dude. I think he could run for president in like ten years, dude. It's if called, he doesn't, if it, he doesn't get like majorly jammed up, he's he's one of those dudes that isn't going to get canceled because he just doesn't give a fuck because he has his following. He's like Rogan, he has his following. The following isn't going anywhere; it's just growing. So as long as he doesn't do something fucking outrageous, insane, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, him, his shenanigans, the way he acts, like no one fucking cares. No now. one, dude. And no it's one not, a, and he's actually getting like better and doing like better shit, dude. Nine million dollars. He's calling like. On, I'm on Twitter. He's calling a biz, a different business to give him fucking X amount of dollars every time I log on. Yeah, and every yeah. one of them are crying and so thankful. It's like, what why, the? Like, why? Why weren't people doing this before? Why does Barstool have to do like right? Barstool, yeah. right? Fucking have to like do that and, to like, bail they, out these and, like, businesses. Bail out all these fucking businesses, and like we're like worried about like fucking six hundred bucks. Right. It's right. fucking insane. Right. Like call up some richer people. Yeah. Like there's money to go around. Like people got to help each other out. But he's like the only person that's like, how can't you get behind him right now? Like, yeah. Right. right. And he's like, and he's literally calling people out personally, like, calling yeah. like rich people out. Like, hey, dude, you talk about how rich you are all the time. Give me some loot. Right. And then he put fucking half a mil up of his own fucking Right. Because somebody was like, put, him, put your money where your mouth is. He's, he's like, like, he's like great nine. idea. He got a great idea. I got 500K. Let's figure out how we can raise more. Yeah. And then fucking yeah. a week later, they got 9 million. Who, yeah, who, did he, who did he call out? Do you remember anyone he called out in particular? Uh, yeah. He called out a bunch of Bitcoin people. <laughs> and they were dragging their feet. Cause Elon got, Musk. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't think Musk gave him anything yet. Uh, Musk see, is a good Taffer. Zillion. Taffer. Like yeah. Ryan Whitney, but he works for him. Uh, 
bunch of just a bunch of a couple of athletes. I can't think of like people like in, in defense of John Taffer. I know he did start his own thing. No, but Taffer gave money Taffer gave to – Yeah, I mean oh, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah people. They're like, like boys. They call like John yeah. Taffer, dude. Great yeah, guy. but great guy. So the fact that Barstool has to step up and fucking do that while the government's fucking arguing over a fucking fourteen hundred dollar fucking swing, right, is absolutely insane. Right, and the, and the thing about the swing is there's some people that are still working that are going to, you know, nothing's really thought out that great. Like it there's is. people that are working that like there's people that never keep uh, the six hundred, give it to somebody else who's which, yeah. which it should be. It's, it should all go to people that are actually that actually lost money or not working because of the pandemic. Right. They should be focused on those groups. Yeah, but it's it's just like how do you like how do you like sort that all out? You know what I mean? Or just so you, you, you got to give can, it. They can't figure you figure Dude, the they, people they, that are working that can still go to their jobs and make their full salary. Which is a ton of people sh- that have not lost a right. dollar. Right. Shouldn't right. get nothing. They probably shouldn't they get They can tell anything. how much yeah. fucking taxes you owe by how many hours you work. So they can figure out, like, who's a bartender, who's a fucking waitress that is eating shit sandwiches right now because they can't Yeah, I mean, work. yeah, they, yeah, they should. You could give them a little bonus. Everybody on unemployment. Don't get tax it. them as much this year. Right. Some fucking thing. Do something to help these motherfuckers did, out. Like, did, like, that's awesome how he's calling the businesses doing that. Like, I was seeing the things where they were, like, save the bars and that. Like, I wonder, did anyone, like, ever hear anything about, like, the first things people were doing? Like, did anyone get help from that or no? No. Uh-oh. The first things who were, who were doing? I remember, like, t- I remember, like, Taffer and a couple so other I didn't people. see what Taffer was and doing. And then there was, like, a... Like, Jameson was trying to do something. Jameson, yeah, yeah. Like, help the bartenders, and it was, like, I don't know. No, I guess, so nothing think, nothing to anywhere close to being this effective yeah. as Barstool's been the past fucking week. Yeah, it's seriously... I think more of that's, like, a publicity stunt. Like, oh, look, we care. Like, like for Jameson and shit like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I think Barstool, like, they, they, they did it really out of cared. a good place, yeah. I think, yeah. Because he's, like, friends with people that own bars and, you know. Right. And yeah, there's, uh, yeah, it's fucking unbelievable. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people that, you know, he's not even going to be able to touch the amount of people that are going to get fucked out of everything. But at least, oh, he's, no. at least he's giving it a try. You, right. You got, if you have one, like, you know, co- business, small business owner out there, that it goes, you know. It goes How many families way. is that business right. feeding, you know Well, I, I mean? think that, I think one of the contingencies is that they're still playing their employees. Yeah. Yeah. To right. a certain extent. Like, they're not totally they shut. Had to, they had to keep, yeah, they, they, they had to keep, keep people they had to, employed. They had to keep the payroll going. Right. Which, which is, is what tough. it's all about, though, you know right. what I mean? Right, because, dude, some of these people are running, like, breaking even. You know how fun it is to work and break even? Yeah. Yeah, you're just making a paycheck. You're not making any profit at all. You're just barely getting fu- You're barely eating. Yeah, I couldn't imagine working a week and be like, you know what? You had a good week this week, but uh, no now, problem. Now you can <laughs> stay at your house. Yeah, now you can go home. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> but that that's pretty awesome. And also, like, another thing, like, don't forget, we can support all of our local businesses around here. You can still buy gift cards from places. I know uh, one of our sponsors, the Meatball Company, is still open right now. We could still order food from there. Meatball Ca- Company is pretty fire. Meatball Company, best balls in town. Um, Capazudos is open, so... Bootleg. I don't know if bootleggers is open right now. I think they might be doing takeout one night a week. So any of those places, they all support the podcast. If you can, please support them. But definitely check out the Meatball Company and Capazudos for sure. I know they're definitely open. All right, we got a nice swing here, uh, Zebra. This is you've been fired up about this one. Uh, is it gay to have sex with a man in prison? So, w- w- <laughs> so here's the thing. I nice was, little heartwarming story. Back back to reality, Johnny. So <laughs> I, 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 was, I might need a shot for this. So one. we're we're gonna play this clip during. Everyone hot, will hear this during the episode. Yeah. So there was this you know, dude. There was this dude, Big Herc. I find him on the internet, and like he's like a straight out of prison dude, and he has like a series of like youtube videos where like he talks about he gets questions from people and talks about what it's like to get out of prison to to tell people like what prison was like and like one of his biggest questions was this like what happens with sex in prison and stuff and it was funny because this dude was from canada and he said hey in canada he was like people don't get raped like they do in america he was like it's just cool down there that you guys do that like you don't consider that being gay and like Big Hurt didn't like that. He didn't take it, kindly it, to no, it. No, he didn't like that. And he Big Hurt came out and said, like, you know, if you ain't dropping the soap out in the motherfucking streets, then you ain't dropping the soap in jail. And he went on to say, like, if you're in there and you're busting cheeks, like, you know, what I mean, dudes ain't high fiving you when you get done busting <laughs> yeah. your busting your homies' cheeks. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, I smashed that. <laughs> it, it, it ain't cool. Like he was like, but if you're gay, that's cool. He's like, I don't see nothing wrong with being gay. And if you go to prison, you're gay. You, you know, you're gonna love it because there's tons of whore dick waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, like Big Herc went on to say that, and he said he did ten years, and he didn't end up like busting no cheeks while I was in there. He said he just beat his meat to the, like the little porn books you get snuck in. But 
That was like Big Hurt's take off. We're going to play that. You're going to hear that clip from him. It's fucking hilarious. I mean, Tony Soprano said in The Sopranos, like, you get a pass when you're in jail. Guys that go to prison and fuck another guy, is this seen as gay? I don't get how a man in prison can get away with having sex with another man and not be gay. I'm from Canada, and rape is not common in prison because it is seen as gay. But it seems in America, it's not as it's, it's not seen as gay. Is this a misconception in prison? Yes, it is. Just because you're from Canada is no different than over here. If you fucking a motherfucker in the cheeks, you're gay. I know cats doing life. I know cats that got 20, 30 years, and they'll fucking beat their meat into the red in the face or to the dick is raw. You're not gonna just go around and be fucking men in the ass if, 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 unless you're gay. You know, you gotta, there's, there's a certain level of discipline that comes with being a sexual, being a human being. If you ain't got no control over your fucking bodily functions, then you got some issues, man. You might need to be housed in prison because you just, you're gonna get out and just be taking booty. If you wanna take booty, man, you know, then you need to be locked the fuck down. But if you're in prison and you're fucking another man, that's considered gay. Dudes is not trying to be like high fiving you after you come out of cell and you don't fucked another man in the ass. You know, you, you show respect. You know, you beat your meat. You know, you maybe holler at a female guard or a female worker, try to get her to let her let you bar her panties or some shit. You know, or maybe you may, maybe somehow get a little get a little touch or bump bump her cheeks. But you're not gonna be running around bumping men's cheeks up in there and being being cool. You're not gonna be known as the homie. You know, you're going to be known as the butt bandit or, you know, whatever the case, whatever you want to call it. But it's not cool over here in America, as a, you know, as, a, as it is in Canada. It ain't cool over here either to run around and be busting cheeks, man. You know, Cass is not getting down like that. I wasn't kicking with Cass getting down like that. I know a lot of stand-up dudes who aren't getting down like that. And um, the reality of it is that if you are busting cheeks, you're gay. But you got to be the pitcher. You can't be the catcher. I think that was part of it. Yeah. Yeah. But he, but he, I mean, it depends. That's the fine print. It, it, I mean, is it gay to have sex with a man in prison? I mean, like you said, if you're gay, whatever. Who cares? Right. Nobody cares. Right. But I think it depends how long your sentence is. Well, that's what Big Big Herc was like saying. Was like he did, went with dudes that were doing life, and they weren't still busting cheeks. Like I could sit here and easily be like, dude, there ain't no way. Like I ain't gonna be going busting their cheeks. If my life is over, I'm Boston Chief. <laughs> I, <might, laughs> I gotta be honest. No, no, I gotta go with Big Herc. He was like, "Man, you beat your meat till that shit is raw as hell, or the dick broke." He's like, "How did you do?" <laughs> like, I mean, he, he said like dudes go in there and like at first they're like cool, but then they start Peter gazing. You know what I mean? <laughs> They'll catch him in the shower. And dudes will be like gazing at each other's Peters, and then they know. And it, they, said, they said they smack him on the ass, right? And if you're like, if you don't get real offended <laughs> by getting smacked on the ass, like he's down. Then they know they can take your like case. You, if someone like slaps your ass with a towel, like well, I don't want to get raped. <laughs> right. Who's for the fucking guy? That was like yeah. romance, man. Yeah, Take I'm me not, out to dinner. I'm not saying put, put a Snickers I'm, I'm on my pillow. I'm not saying I want rape by any stretch of the means. You want to be firing it in. You ain't. Well, I want to be consensual. I just like everybody should. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're saying, like, would you like say like you're in there and you're like, Jack, you got life, and you're like, man, dude, I got life, and me and you were hanging out. All right, wait, <laughs> like, the, the lights are off. Now, now we, we're getting weird. We got we got a little bit of toilet line going. You know what I mean? Fucking, Some it's a nice night. You're like that dude. Might, let's go to prison. Yeah, it might be snowing a little bit. We got the window. We got the toilet line. The lights are off. Like, what, what else are we gonna do? Well, like the crazy thing is, because I'm thinking in play, my head, like, hey, Jack, if, if Jack's like coming at me, like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust your cheeks. Like, I'm gonna come back and because I know Jack just got a new asshole. So I'm gonna be like, dude, I'm might be down for to bust Jack's new cheeks open. Yeah, let me, let me be the first. You don't want to send him to the emergency. Yeah. Room. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta break it in. <laughs> Maybe so, a finger. But listen, we got nothing but time. Right. <laughs> you got nothing but life. We're, yeah, we're there forever. <laughs> I, dude, like, I don't know to what I'm like putting that. Hope to God I'm never in that position where me and Jack are in prison for life. Yeah. Debating, like, dude, we may as well just start fucking. Like, and if it is, I hope it's soon while his butt's still new. <laughs> oh, dude, cause it might be time. To, I might hang it up first, dude. But, like, yeah, if you're, it's hard to say you're, you wouldn't do it until, like, you're put in that position. But, like, that was, like, the thing. What are you guys thinking about this? Oh, uh, fuck, though, man. Like, I, I'm, I told you, I'm going to beat my meat till it's fucking. Yeah. Till I broke it. <laughs> you, Nerd. <laughs> Risotto. Yeah, yeah I prefer to beat off the, the porno magazines and fuck a guy. That would be right. my answer. No, no, like your boy said, he's like, man, holler at a female guard. Maybe she'll let you see her titty or something. Maybe yeah. you can rub up against her ass. <laughs> he's talking about, yeah, he's That'll be she'll me. give you your underwear. Maybe, yeah, 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 maybe use your underwear for I a I think minute. that's like a... Like a female guard's in there is like worth. I mean, I'll bang a female guard. Like, right. I think they're all trying though. You gotta be like the 
Yeah, you gotta be. You gotta be. A, you gotta have something to offer. You gotta have some finesse. Like a couple Newports. Well, they had for a, a female guard to put her job on the line. Well, there, there was a dude on there. Like I watched all. Like I went down a rabbit hole and watched every one of Big Hart's <laughs> videos. And he had a dude on there who said he was he was busting this female guard's cheeks. And um, he said it went on for like nine weeks, which was like an insane amount of time. But like fi- they said, that's the thing. Like if you bang a female guard. And anyone finds out they're hating on you. Oh, for sure. Because you're clapping cheeks and they're, dude, they're busting. Yeah. Did you ever watch like the first sixty days? Like, dude, the prison. Yeah. It's like fucking a bunch of ten year olds fucking yeah. together. They're they're snitching on everything. Everybody's right. hating on but everybody. Those dudes remember like a couple years ago. Them dudes escaped from a jail in like Ohio or some shit. And the one dude was fucking the female guard. That's yeah, how they, that's was how that, they ended up escaping. Was that on the show? I almost got away with this. <laughs> it pro- it probably is that? an episode now, but it really happened like a couple years. I ago. do remember. Yeah, that. yeah. There's a, yeah. dude. The female guards fuck the guys all the time. I mean, yeah. yeah, she was making, like, he just he was gonna kill my husband. They made that into really an HBO happened. like mini series. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it was like Ohio or like up in the mountains of West Virginia. Yeah, somewhere, yeah, somewhere, somewhere, yeah, somewhere up in Free up somewhere up there. Country. Yeah. And it was it was a weird ass female guard. She yeah, was like, she was like the sewing teacher. Yeah, and, and she looked like she lived in a trailer. Yeah, she was horrendous. Yeah. Did we talk about like work, like the scale of like chicks? That, like when we're working, you're like, yeah, she gets a bump because I'm cutting grass. So right, right. yeah, yeah. So like, what do you think in prison? Like, what uh, do you think like the ugliest chick would be like? A you know, is she's she not bre- a dude. Is she breathing? Yeah, she's right. not a dude. Yeah. So I think she's hot. Like prison hot is probably like. You I know, mean, I'd be pre- I'd be. That's what I mean. I'd that's be what, pretty prison hot. So like dude. you're looking at the <laughs> you're looking at the guard and you're like, damn, but that dude. Got a nice tan. I would be, like if if, it, if it's between like some chick who's like a zero on the streets, or I gotta clap my homie's cheeks. I'm gonna take that zero you're talk, all day. I'll take the zero you're all talking day. about an eight or nine dude, or like a zero mm-hmm. chick. I mean, dude, I'm still taking the zero chick. All right, so Foos or a zero I don't chick? Know. Look at dude, <laughs> I, dude, I, dude, I, I, dude, Jack. When you say all this, all I hear is Misha. Like, dude, he's all he's talking about dick. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gonna call me later. He said you need he was, to justify this. He's gonna make dudes Peter gazing. <laughs> I mean, if the dude got a nice jawline, it is. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> Misha in Russia, you were Peter Gazing would be killed. <laughs> da. Da. There's a couple of Peter Gazers we uh, accused Peter Gazers we hung out, right? Yeah. Uh, I know I know no, one more than a few. I know nobody we want to get into on no. this one. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean you're like, like, yeah, the the locker room, there was definitely Packer Peter Chuggers. Oh, there was? Oh that yeah. dice, people didn't get naked. Yeah. No but, <laughs> but it uh, I mean there were still Packer Chuggers. They were Peter gazing. Peter gazing. Did anyone ever gaze your Peter, John? At Dice. I never. I never took a shower butt naked at Dice. No, yeah. me either. Because there was I way mean, too many pecker checkers out there. Was, uh, was there? Oh yeah. If you were walking around, but you butt wanted, naked at Old Rice, you were asking dude, for it. Dude, saw you. You know. <laughs> yeah, you wanted your pecker. You wanted check. your your cakes taken. At least, at least in the you one. You wanted your night. cheeks busted. Your yeah. cheeks busted. At cheeks least busted. in the one locker room, like yeah, there was a nobody got naked. I don't know what went on in the other locker room. <laughs> no, no, nah, nah, there was like I one, never went over there. Snuggles would walk around butt naked and just in, like everybody else would be like, all right, man, I'm just gonna go home and take a shower. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm hopping in the back of Shorty's El Camino. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just shower when I get home, but yeah. thanks. Yeah. Shorty have like twelve dudes in the back of his uh, El Camino. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Pouring down rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys wanna ride? Oh, oh me. So yeah, to end that I don't think I mean if you get a light sentence, no way it's gay to have sex with a dude in prison. Yeah, I mean, we have to agree to disagree on that. No, I mean, like, I'm, I'm saying, like, put in that position, it's easy to sit here and say, like, no, there's no way. But, like, dude, if I'm, you're in there for life, like, I can't say I wouldn't, I wouldn't bust some cheeks. You know what I mean? Like, I can't say I wouldn't, dude. Like, life's a long time, dude. Life's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you, I mean dude, you get in that, you get in that environment. Uh, yeah. yeah, shit changes. You ain't never seen a suds wash like, down the back of a man's down in the- ass. <laughs> Oh, I was fooling. It would have to be definitely like a dude who, like, it couldn't be no like manly ass dude. He'd have to be <laughs> soft, soft as fuck. You know, yeah, what it'd I mean? be an easy transition. Yeah, it wouldn't be like some like bulky ass dude. Like, man, he's a good looking. Like, nah, dude, I want like the softest. Dude. You know, I gotta beat him in all wrestling. Yeah, I, I don't want to be. I want a dude that uses a nice bar of soap. Yeah, yeah, he right, uses man. Dove. If he's yeah. using Soft Dove, <laughs> yeah, he's getting his cheeks busted. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> like Big Herc said, don't drop the soap, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was fucking awesome. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, everyone. We'll be right back with more Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Are you in the market right now for buying a house? Maybe in the market for selling a house. Have you heard about Carlson Associates Real Estate Services? If you haven't, maybe you should check them out. They're located right here locally in Pittsburgh at 106 South 18th Street in Southside. A lot of people think that they only service the Southside, but that's not true. They handle all the Pittsburgh area, and they also handle property management too. So if you're looking for a good real estate company that's locally owned and locally ran, call Carlson Associates Real Estate Services at 412-431-1718. That's 412-431-1718. 
818 and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know if you've ever had a problem like me, but if you've ever stuck your dick in the light socket, you're probably going to need an electrician. Well, good thing Greenfield Finest Podcast has Plug Electric as our official electricians of the Greenfield Finest Podcast. If you're looking for a good electrician, contact Plug Electric. Ask for Vance Hall, phone number 412-298-6770. That's 412-298-6770. And stop sticking your dick in the light socket. Hey, if you're looking for a fun night out in the south side and you don't want to get punched in the face... Check out Finn McCool's at 1501 Carson Street. Go there, have a good time, and don't get punched in the face. Finn McCool's, 1501 Carson Street, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Oh, man, I don't know if you guys have ever felt like this, but I woke up this morning, and my toilet's running. I can't get it to stop running. My water bill last month was double. I didn't know what to do. Thank goodness for Niscatch Plumbing. I called them. They were there right away and took care of the problem, and it didn't cost me hardly anything. They're registered master plumbers and fully insured. That's Niscatch Plumbing. Phone number 412-337-4047. 412-337-4047. Thank you, Niscatch Plumbing. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Looks like the boys are going to throw another shot down the hatch. Espelon time. <laughs> um, it looks like it's time for Gear Grinders, Moneyline Welsh. Would it be, big dude? Uh, I don't start Gear Grinders, man. No, but you, like, throw it out. You, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's your thing. Me every time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's right. just because you, like, sit directly across. I know. I'm in your <laughs> eye, your eye <laughs> line. No, I hate uh, – what gear, grinds my gears – is I mean not to pick on my little girls, <laughs> but every present they get, I mean they like and they want to open right now. And packaging, the packaging of these toys is a nightmare. It's insane. Like I, you got to have a knife on you at all times for the <laughs> next like, three days. You need like wire cutters and shit. Like, so you got to open them up. Fuck? You put them in recycling. So Hannah Batteries, cleans them all up. Yeah. She washes they, them all. <laughs> she washes them all. I put them on the curb. They never come get them. So just packaging in general and kids wanting to open their like they get. They get their spoiled kids. They get a lot of stuff. They get it from me. They get it from grandmothers yeah, or aunts. Right. My grand, my uh, my foot, my dad. Like, there's a lot of shit to open. We can't open it all at once. You know, give me a break. I, you had a ton I, of shit. I mean, your kids, your toys are. You have a surplus of dude. Toys. My house looked like a tornado. But you, it looks good today. Yeah, you should have seen it. Like the like the 25th and 26th was it, like that's crazy. legitimate, dude. Because it, it gets like he said the packaging like one fucking doll. We have like a box, a plastic thing, a back to it, and then it has like it's like wire, it has the her head stapled. The sh- to the like you'll get mad board. and just try to rip it out, yeah. and you might break that doll if you don't have a knife. You need a knife. Yeah, you definitely need a switchblade to open. <laughs> but then you cut it. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And then like my niece, she, I mean she's only two, but like she's terrible at like opening presents. <laughs> she'll like she'll like rat. She'll like rip the little piece piece off. Throw it on the ground, rip another little piece <laughs> off, throw it on the ground. Like, dude, what are we doing? I mean, plus, she probably got a lot of shit because yeah, she's like, probably dude, the only, all she's day. the only grandchild. I mean, yeah, a ton of shit. Her, her, sta- her pal's probably like up taller than dude, you. Dude, before I came here, that we had like a cousin's get together and like she, they, she had another pal of shit. Dude, I don't know, I'm, good thing my brother got that crib because it's gonna. Dude, be full his gear grinder is probably like I got a bunch of shit. She's never gonna play with. Never, dude. I mean. I I, what do you do with like old toys? Do you like do you, you like throw st- them away? You throw them away or like progressively I give, I start give to them give them? To them, other them people, yeah. You give them away. You give them the, like the vets. Like, but dude, uh, my daughter Athena, she'll remember like a Paw Patrol figurine That's from what like it, three years and then ago. Go bananas. It's if she like, can't dude, find she'll it. like, where, where is that? Uh... No, did, did you ever like move a couch or something? And they find a toy from fucking eighty three. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I love this thing. You know what I mean? You're like, I was it was in the garbage bag two seconds ago. <laughs> Kids' reactions are good though because they're so pumped about everything. Dude, they open best Christmas ever. Yeah, like everything they open. And it's like, worth it until you see the fucking aftermath. Dude, I'm trying to keep up on like the wrapping paper. You know what I mean? That's get, big dad job. Get that, in the, get that. But then they're just like, "Did you open it?" Like Josephine, like she don't care about the other ten presents. She wants that one open right now. Did and you? Then, uh, did you have to do any assembling? A lot of assembly. Uh, just one thing this year. Like, no, I know what you're talking about. Like, I, I've put together uh, kitchens and like. I put, it, I put a vanity together, dude. Yeah. So I was in Texas until fucking like nine o'clock the day before New Year's Eve. We had to go do snow, so I'm sitting there at night. Like I could, I could have made a call. You know, it would have helped out. It wouldn't want to take four hours to put this vanity together, dude. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, assembly required fucking sucks, dude. Some of that dude. shit, dude. Literally, a kitchen I built for my kids like was so intricate. It took me four hours. Like it's no, crazy. no bullshit, That's, no yeah. breaks. You take it all out of the sweating packaging, and shit. sweating. You got to lay it all around the room. Like you're building a real piece of furniture. Where the fuck is that Allen wrench? <laughs> <That's nuts. laughs> the only people that play with it are other kids when they come. To yeah, my kids, my kids play with his kids' kitchen more than they do. Yeah. <laughs> or they just take everything out of it. Then there's a big mess, and then you got to put it all back. Like, in. All right, John. See you later, bud. Yeah. Making the fake eggs. <laughs> yeah, right. Ruined his there's, whole Christmas. There's a phone in a paper towel rack. <laughs> I see. <laughs> is uh, is there got, a recycling bin? <laughs> I got one of my. I got my niece one of those Bluetooth. My Microphones, where like it, pl- it plays music like through the microphone, and then you like can sing. Oh, it's so loud, it's crazy. <laughs> my brother was ready to fucking kill me. That's a good that thing. leads I... me to my gear grinder. <laughs> Dude, go ahead. So, I mean, I'm I'm the only boy in my family, so I always thought I was my mother's favorite son. Mm. Turns out she fucking hates me, dude, because she got what you're describing. Same it's like thing. a fucking microphone with a stand that has like a speaker at the bottom. <laughs> it's like a karaoke machine. It's so fucking annoying, dude. Like my kids will sing for a little bit and they'll just be like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my god, dude, like what the fuck? And then not only that, she got like a, it looks like a megaphone, but right. it like changes your voice. I was like, Ma, what the What's fuck did I here? do to you? Like, what did I do? Like, I was at my brother's today, and I'm pretty sure he hid the microphone already. Uh, I, I didn't no, see it anywhere. I seen it the first day they opened it, and I was like, yeah, this is going to disappear. Did you already like, hide it? Fuck yeah, it's down in the basement. They'll yeah. never see that again. They might get it again for next Christmas. Do you have? No, you have twins. Are they like, is there two microphones or just one? No, so, so they they're fight fighting? Over, yeah. <laughs> and they're both like, uh. <laughs> yeah, both, both of them in the mic doing a duet together. <laughs> I feel like putting a freaking bullet in my head sometimes. Yeah, I fucked like, my brother. On that one, my dad laughed like, "Oh, that's a really funny." <laughs> but yeah, dude, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, but you know, I'm just gonna house. leave that here so they can play with it while they're oh, here. Oh, I'm definitely taking over there, no doubt about it. The most annoying thing, like, th- you know, it's funny. You get them one toy that's noisy, like oh, you know, a car or something that makes noise, ha 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 ha, or a doll that fucking every time you walk past it talks. That's funny. That's different. Not a motherfucking dude. karaoke machine for two six-year-olds that fight over everything. Dude, there. you talk about a stressed-out parent getting like shit for their kids. Like, you don't want to be unappreciative. That, like, people are buying your kids stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you really do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, but, like, take it home with you. But why don't, like, I hate you. Like, dude, like you said, the sh- <laughs> exactly. there was one year where I might have got six packages on my porch. These people didn't even wrap it. They just sent it to my house to be assembled. And I'm like, you know, maybe I don't feel like building the table and chairs right now. And, like, all this, like, <laughs> yeah. dude, I got, like, a, dude, my kids got, every- dude, Johanna wanted to get, like, a rock climbing thing. And I had to nix it. Because I already have like a like the thing that we could swing around and land on the mat. What's a gymnastics? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with the pole we could swing like like you go around. I'm like, where do you want to put all? Where this are we gonna shit? put all this shit? In the garage where I can't park my car already. Yeah. <laughs> and all the recyclables are. And done. all the recyclables are building up. I had people like sending me videos of their living room. It is fucking insane. Like everybody's sending you those nice videos. We're all happy. And the kids are all happy. No, no, no. I was getting sent videos like, do you believe all this fucking? Uh, shit? Oh, dude, it's yeah. hell. That's it's what hell. I want to yeah. see on Facebook. My I don't want to see that fake shit. I have a mountain of boxes and like bags of wrapping paper. And the thing that kills me is. I, I paid for that wrap, wrapping paper. So it was on there for one night, and they destroy it, and now it's fucking... It, my, I'm walking around like a city parks worker, dude. I'm mm. like with a, 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 a <laughs> pole with a nail on it. Kenny was sleeping. Up, yeah, yeah, like, what the fuck? Gr- Grandma Zydell was, was, like, not with that. She was... You unwrap something, she, like, had her method because she was fucking wrapping that again next year with that <laughs> same wrapping yeah. One piece of tape that wasn't that sticky. Uh, yeah, she was like... <laughs> that's nice paper. She would take it, fold it back up, put it in this little bag. Well, well played. Yeah, I know. Good Save for... a ton of money on wrapping paper. She knew what she was doing. Yeah. You got a grounder, z Yeah. So Christmas Day, it's uh, Kogo's decided that they were going to close for some fucking reason. Really? Yeah, it was closed. The Greenfield one? Yeah. And I had a shit. And we're out doing <laughs> snow, and it's just a fucking nightmare. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, I already is, had a shit once outside. Is there a shitter there? In Kogo's? Yeah. Yeah. Usually occupied, but, but there, yeah. there, there's one. I don't there, know if I've ever been in it. I've been there. You're not missing anything. Yeah, no. there's not much. It's a, you know, it's. it's what do you got to go behind the counter? No, you go <laughs> to the <laughs> back where the drinks the are at, past the ice. Yeah, you know I mean? it'd be like on your way back to the demo, Kogo's. Like, back oh, okay, right? yeah, it's yeah, back. okay. I, yeah, I think I was in there like a long time ago. So they're they're cl- they're closed. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom between the new Kogo's and the fake Kogo's. <laughs> they're closed, and I'm like, dude, I got a shit so bad. So we get up to this one street. I don't want to incriminate myself, but we get up this one street. <laughs> And I fucking fart, and I'm like, I'm going to shit my pants, dude. And I literally had a run in this backyard, and it's wide open, and there's, like, there's nowhere to hide. 
Like, there's a chain link fence. There's six inches of snow on the ground. There's six inches of snow, so I, like, curl up in a ball and lay sideways and just fucking shit, like, the best way I can. So, so I'm just, like, shitting <laughs> while there's a Mexican dude holding a fucking shovel above me like a pitchfork trying to, like, protect me from anyone. What time of day was this? Seven in the morning, so it was light. It was light. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, I'm just, like, shitting, crouch, like, crouching tiger hitting turd. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, like, ugh. And the Mex- like you're giving birth naturally. Yeah, the Mexican dude's <laughs> holding the thing up, dude, and I'm just, like, and then I already shit once in an alleyway, so I already had to use one sock. I had three pairs of socks on. So instead of, like, I was just in such a hurry, I grabbed the sock off the one foot I already took one off of and wiped <laughs> my ass and threw I'm down to one sock in that foot. My foot's fucking freezing. I, I think I got frostbit. My other <laughs> foot's sweating, dude, and I'm like, I bury the turd with a little bit of snow, and I'm like, let's just get the fuck then out of Then it thawed out. Yeah, that's like two out. days later. And now they Did go. You imagine going in the backyard and like not having a dog and be like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> so so a human turd shit. with a like, sock with shit so, stains on someone it. Someone came in here Christmas morning and shit in my yard. Ma- Merry Christmas. <laughs> Guys, if you would know the street, which we could tell you, I really don't think they listen to the podcast. <laughs> it, it's in Greenfield. If you would go in this backyard, it's just it's just like every other ba- backyard. It's like, it's like four houses butted up. Like what fucking backyard. street? Parnell. Back there, <laughs> George K. I, what color was the house? I don't. It's, it's brown, <laughs> brown. The yard. Why is that your house you, or something? I got an aunt that lives there. Aunt Turd. <laughs> it's actually Johanna's dad's aunt. There you go. Oh, dude, uh, but like, I don't think she lives there no more. Hopefully, if not, it's good fertilizer. Yeah, but I mean, the <laughs> whole thing was patch, like, right? I never so thought convenience. Why were you like you were laying in the snow? While like I was like sideways because dude, I was trying to crotch down so no one could dude, see me because there's like a if hill. You, if you so would was, walk back, I mean, there's nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide, and I was, it, shit was coming out. Like Just cyclone fences, dude. right? <laughs> like, like it, literally, like all the neighbors, or kid, all, dude. There's one, like six houses that were, could have seen him. Yeah, and then luckily, like we were like, we, we just got the fuck out of there. Like, hurry up and threw some rock salt and left. And like, you know, obviously we got calcium chloride. Yeah, calcium chloride got away with it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but it was fucking, it was dangerous, dude. I'm like, dude, this is terrible. Like, why the fuck would Kogos be closed? Like, I never. That is, t- it's never closed on. That's that's crazy. New ownership. Hmm. Cohen. Cohen's market. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. They, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. They wear Cohen shirts, and it's not Kogos. But it them. still says Kogos. But it just says it's Cohen's market. Like when you go inside there, it's the exact same fucking store. Huh? Is that the it, is that the Cohen's that bought that? Um, I mean, obviously, but it's... yeah, I think that yeah. Huh. huh? Did they put the chicken in there yet? Negative. Dude, yeah. That chicken is fire. Kogos chicken. Really? Cohen chicken. Cohen is chicken. It? Yeah, it's. The best chicken you ever eat, dude. But I don't. But see, like I'm wondering if it's the same Cohen's because they. Yeah, I, I don't think it is because this place they haven't changed much. They haven't. Cha- it's still the same fucking pizza and everything they like that. They got green shirts that said Kogos. They just X'd it out and wrote Cohen's. Yeah, like they like, like put tape on it. And it says <laughs> Cohen's. It says, "Do not try to shit here on Christmas. You'll be out of luck." But dude, that was, that's when you go pull up the Kogos. You open them doors to the dumpster. And go behind that dumpster. Uh, yeah, I don't, like, why don't you I've... shit at McGee or okay, something? Okay, like okay. Let me let's stop the insanity right here. I had a shit <laughs> and I went to Kogos. As soon as I seen it was closed, it was like a weird thing. I'm like, uh, I can hold it. Yeah. I can hold it. Put I only got a couple. In. I only got a couple more houses to do. I'll be all right. Did the one house was fine, but as soon as we got down to the other it one, it always comes back. I'm like, I start having contractions. You try to like pee, <laughs> let a little pressure off. I tried to piss, and then oh, when I pissed, I, yeah, I almost. It, it's it like almost, priming the pump, right? Right. There. I was like, it wasn't gonna hold any longer, so I'm like just <laughs> fucking running back to this backyard, dude. And I'm like ducked down, curled down like in a little ball, just shitting with a, with, like I said, with a Mexican holding a shovel over me. <laughs> That's so, sucking your thumb, just pooping your yeah, pants. Yeah, I'm just on like, Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, Jesus, Jesus that's getting Jesus gold coal, coal in your uh, in yeah. your backyard, dude. Zebra, the one time we were working, <laughs> and for some dude, dude, there was a recycle bin there. All of a sudden, like all these dudes like walk up in the front, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Zebra like go, fucking got a shoebox. Shit went behind these trees. Shit in a, a shoebox. <laughs> boom, threw it in the dumpster. I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> that's normal. Yeah, that, <laughs> he's quick though. Yeah, like, that's, was, yeah, that's good. No, he's probably quick shit McGraw, dude. The I, quickest I, shit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I'm I'm in shit wipe out. You know what I mean? Wipe my hands in the snow. I was gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they might have not even knew anything was going on. I'm like, oh, that guy fall down there. Oh, he got right back up. Huh? <laughs> that's funny. Why would he throw a sock over? There? Oh well. Oh Christmas. yeah. Why is that dude laying in the snow? <laughs> dude, like when you're dude. I, I work outside, so I feel you. Like, there's definitely times where, like, when you start looking around too much, you're like, somebody's going to see, you know what I mean? And yeah. then, like, 
Dude, I'm just, you just gotta calm your, you have to calm yourself down and be like this is gonna be over in like under a minute. Yeah, you gotta, yeah the more tense you are, the longer it takes. Yeah. You know, you you'd be like zebra in a fetal position in someone's yard taking a shit. Dude, sometimes you dude, just gotta you, pull the trigger. Dude, when you gotta go, like you, yeah. and you know it's go time. Like I've been, oh, it's go. I've been caught shitting outside before. Yeah, who hasn't? Yeah. Dude? Have you really? Yeah, I've got caught pissing a million. times. I've said it on here before. It was the week we burnt down the the port of John Uphammer. Yeah, <laughs> we got done playing a game. Well, you deserved I, it, then. and I fucking had to shit. So and then the port of John. A and, pile I, of wax I, right I, and I and the Porta John was just burnt down the night before, fucking literally a pile of wax. <laughs> I fucking ran from Hammer to my house, which like isn't that big a deal. It's all downhill, so I got down there relatively quick. Every fucking door, every house, every fucking door, and every fucking window was fucking locked shut for some fucking reason. I didn't have a fucking key, couldn't get in. I run over the fucking hill to take a shit. And then Mr. Fuhrer, who lived right there, comes up to the top. Of the He's like, Jack, what are you doing down there? Like, dude, I'm shitting, Mr. Fuhrer. You got me. Give I'm... me a break, bro. You He's just... like, Jack, you back there taking a shit? You just you just <laughs> see me sprint over the fucking hill. What did you think I had, had going on here, dude? <laughs> the Jacob Fuhrer's dad? Yeah. <laughs> that, gr- that grizzled bastard. Yeah. He was, oh, He's he... quite the outdoorsman. He should have known what time it was. Yeah, I'm sure he took a fucking <laughs> couple dumps in his day. He ate a big old red beard, and he liked to eat deer jerky. Yeah, he shit outside before. Yeah. Who was that one dude in, the, in that movie? Like with uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Cornelius. Cornelius. He looks like Cornelius. Like the, yeah. Yukon Cornelius. Yeah, yeah. He was definitely Yukon Cornelius. <laughs> dude, I, dude I, I know houses that, like... I don't like to shit at a house. It's it's like very rare. It's now that I'm, especially now that I'm older and I'll just leave. Yeah. But like there's houses I know like that's a good if you like work outside you're like that's a good shit spot. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know where if you there's like cover. A, if there's like a narrow spot even, behind a garage. Yeah. Even if you don't have to shit at that time, like you put that in your, yeah. in your memory like, you know what? If I do have to shit, that place is very secluded. I could get away with it. Right. Dude, I've went back to a house cuz I only work in square. I went back to a house cuz I knew this spot, pretending like I lost, I forgot a tool. <laughs> Just and in case the dude stamer. came out, so I yeah. brought like a bushel with me. Right. And it went beyond a garage and shit. Because <laughs> I was desperate. It's either that or in your pants. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. Have... dude, you have no. I mean, there's nothing else you could do. It's like get that. You shit you back. get a bad it's coming rent. no matter what. You eat something bad at lunch. You yeah, know, this dude dropped me off at three in the morning at the Bartlett fucking Porta John when they were doing snow. I was like, cause it's, it's <laughs> she's coming, <laughs> dude. I'm like, I'm like, you want to do one more house? You want to go right now? He's like, let's go right now. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, okay. dude. I, it was it was you know it looked like midnight outside. I'm there with a flashlight trying to fucking oh. Build a That's nest. probably best. I, was, I can't believe you built in that. I'm surprised, like, homeless dude wasn't sleeping in there. No, but there was, like, a bottle of water. I'm like, yeah, somebody was shooting dope in this morning. <laughs> you know I mean? it, it had all the telltale signs of a uh, heroin yeah. den. <laughs> I might have just shit behind that thing. I don't even know if I would have went in there. That's why I built a nest, motherfucker. I got a grinder. I uh, smash this. Just, dude, like, unsolicited Christmas presents from, like, people who, like, like, what do you buy me a Christmas present for? You know who, what I mean? Like, who, who so someone you? like you, like someone like like you didn't get a present for. Yeah. And like they just like, oh, I got this for you. Like, dude, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. Why'd man? you make this weird? Yeah. Like, well, what? So like, D sits me up, and he was like, hey man, I got a bottle for you. And I'm like, oh, okay. And like, I'm not drinking, but I was gonna bust this bubble. He's fucking right. dropping off a bottle. Like, I'm sure I'll drink again. So fucking he. Uh, then he hits me up. He's like, he's like, dude, I just realized like, you can't drink right now. I was like, yeah. I was like, no big deal, dude. Don't worry about it. Don't make this weird. Yeah, don't make this weird. Mm. So then he was like, are you going to be home? I was like, yeah, I'm going to be home, but it was Christmas. I got to go to my brother's. So in like true DC like fucking fashion, he hits me up like the second I'm about to leave. And he was like, hey, man, like I uh, I got you something. I'm fucking, can I drop it off? I'm like, yeah. Like fucking how bored are you guys? <laughs> so fucking he drops it off. He gives me like two dozen golf balls, nice golf balls. I was like, oh, dude, thanks. And I'm thinking in my head, like, I was like, dude, I don't like, I was like, I didn't get you anything, you fucking weirdos. That's what? sentimental I even, bastard. I even, like, said it to him. I was like, what's going on here, dude? He's like, I don't know, man. I'm just fucking. You're about to around. die, Jack. People yeah, are going to start yeah. getting you gifts. Yeah, yeah, I think that was part of it. They're going to so, get you roses while you're alive. Isn't yeah, it? which, which is like, dude, it was nice, but it was also like, what the fuck's happening? So fucking, uh, I, like, happen to have, like, fucking two hoodies for, for the Greenfield's Finest podcast and the fucking, which I haven't wore. Fucking, and they were like in my back, fucking, uh, in my back seat. And I was like, here you go, buddy. Here's a hoodie. And he was, he was like, geeked. So I was like, there you go. <laughs> Which I, one did you I, give I, him? I, I gave him the regular black one with the green, the green circle. Yeah. Which fucking, like, I just can't. I, I, I don't want to accept a gift without, like, having a gift. But nor I don't want to buy anybody a gift either. Like, just, just like kids. At this point, just like kids, and that's it. I guess your girlfriend, your wife, or whatever. You gotta, you're always having to get them fucking something. 
but like fucking tell me about it. Don't make it's me, an uncomfortable don't feeling. Don't make me uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 Like, fuck. But that's don't thoughtful. make me feel like a piece of it's shit. Thoughtful. thoughtful. Way to it go, Dave. Yeah, it was nice. You're a good friend. Yeah, it was nice. I'll take a dozen golf balls. <laughs> He's one in too. a million. This guy. I think he said he ordered some fucking golf shirts too. But uh, <laughs> so that 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 was one, and then the other one. I'm up Shenley today. Fucking. This, you know where like where the park is at Chenley, like when you like you when the trail ends. Yeah. So like that main park when you first like get into Chenley there, across you know people park on that side of the street and they park on the other side of the street and they park like normal people next to the curb facing whatever direction the road is going. Some fucking lady. There was two cars parked it, like going like towards uh towards the golf course. Parked normal. The third car backed up onto the grass and had their whole back on the grass and like the front of their car just hanging out <laughs> <laughs> did you see this lady i didn't, i wish i i like i like slowed down and looked i'm like who's I, you're like, about to sit there and i was wait like for i was i hope somebody's in this fucking car because they are getting unloaded on <laughs> like i was like ready to roll i was it a subaru Dude, it was, believe yeah. it or not, it was. I'm telling you, dude. dude it, it, it you need that four wheel drive to get up on that curb. Dude, it fucking. I already it, knew it. And then, dude, and like the the fucking the hillside that was snowed like hell. The hillside's all muddy and wet. I'm like, what is your thinking here? Like, you're saving a quarter of an inch so your car. Like, there's plenty of room on that road. People, <laughs> people were just fucking idiots. Yeah, they're they're nuts and they're getting worse because they're not around enough people. Like, there's not enough social. You know what I mean? People are getting no. People aren't checking each other. No, right. no. Right. Like, we need to get back to like social. We, we live in a fucking society and like people need checked. And like, if I gotta do it, I'll fucking do it. Dude, I got, the only, I only got thing nothing I, but time on my hands right now. The only thing I can think of is like they backed in real quick and had a shit. That John, was like John, that was like a code John, red. I got a shit. John, it would have took them way longer to back. There, nobody right. backed. They backed up into a fucking grassy hill. A grassy knoll. <laughs> yeah. We're driving a Subaru. There was nowhere to shit. They took all the Porta Johns out. I almost pissed myself today. Well, you can piss anywhere. Shitting is a, is a whole right, but story. I mean, not when there's like children around by the parking right. well, shit. You know what, dude? Listen, I, I work in I work in uh, you know the city all the time, and I always pull the old open my door of my truck, That's pretend right. like I'm on the phone, and just pretend no, piss. pretend like you're looking at your phone, like duh, 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 duh. yeah, oh yeah, and just piss right on the tire so it doesn't make a splashing sound, you know? Yeah, that's a good move. Yeah, I'd like to see what this person looks like. That's odd. It was fucking. I'm gonna very drive through odd. the park tonight. Like, dude, if I had like a shitty car, I would have like drove it up there and wrecked into him. Just, just parked in front of him. Don't, yeah. don't you wish you had a shitty car? Sometimes you could just play bumper cars with somebody. Like, I, I, I think I like when she gets back to normal. I think I'm gonna buy like a like a shitty work truck to have. And just bump I, into people. I feel like we're gonna be forty. Like that's a good age to have a shitty work truck. Oh, you, you have, have to drive have a around. Truck. By yeah. forty, you have to have a work truck. Yeah. No so, matter what you do, uh, you just hit shit with and like don't get it inspected. Pick up firewood. What a big heavy. Metal ones, if like anything you hit will just crumble. Yeah, like you're anything gonna, new will crumble. Yeah, right? you're just gonna fucking crush a sub. Yeah, uh, <laughs> dude, that's the only thing. A Subaru Crusher, that's all I want. For yeah, Christmas. you might crack a headlight, maybe. Big <laughs> light. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go. Pick I want it to burn through gas. Sc scratch the front of the plow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah plow, a, plow on in the summer. I'm gonna get the lights on there, you know, yeah. like the case. Never, lights, plow's, yeah, never ne coming off. plow's never coming off. Uh, I seen a Jeep. With a fucking plow on it today, like a regular old. I Jeep. I seen I seen a no, Jeep. So too. we were doing snow. I seen this dude. He had like a you know like a probably like early two thousands Tahoe with a plow on it. But the plow must have been so heavy, like his fucking it looked like it was a low rider, dude. Like the front end was just dragging. This Jeep was holding this plow pretty. I mean, it was a smaller plow. It was just as wide as the Jeep, but like it was dude, seemed yeah. legit. Some of them plows are like fucking all steel and like super heavy. Some aren't that bad. Yeah, yeah me and John seen a guy, he was doing snow out of the back of a Ben's wagon. <laughs> Fucking dude, it's the most funny. Might have been the funniest dude of all time. With a plow? <laughs> yeah, so he no, like, he just had a Ben's wagon and the shittiest snowblower I've ever seen. He was like half. He ran an extension cord for four miles dude, away. From he was like <laughs> half working, half just like talking to everybody on the street. He was <laughs> like, man, he's like, you guys shoveling the steps? I'm like, yeah, we shoveling the steps. He was like, shit, I hope these motherfuckers don't find out about that. <laughs> They're going to want me to do the steps. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Well, all right, everybody. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick of your general contractor having sex with your wife? Well, I was, too, and that's when I found out about Schaefer, Inc. Schaefer, Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. They aim to firstly be a company principle-driven, and to achieve this, the importance is ethical business practices. That includes great work and not having sex with your wife. Please check out Schaefer, Inc. for all your contracting needs. Give them a call at 412-915-1694. That's 
1694. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're sitting down right now and you're listening to the podcast or watching the podcast, you probably want to order a pizza. And if you do, make sure you order from Capizudo's Pizza, the official pizza that Greenfield's Finest Podcast, located at 422 Greenfield Avenue, phone number 412-521-6570. Mention Greenfield's Finest Podcast whenever you call. Me and my wife didn't know what to do. We had a gigantic tree in our backyard that we had to get cut down. I've never done anything like this before. Who was I supposed to call? Luckily, I found Greater Pitt Tree Service, a locally owned and operated company. They came out, got to work, and got it done in a safe manner, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Thank you so much, Greater Pittsburgh Tree Service. And they also do free work for World War II veterans. Please call 412-884-TREE. That's 412-884-TREE. If you're like me, I bet you have the same opinion. Are you sick and tired of smoking hot chicks and delicious chicken wings? Well, I know I am. So if you are too, make sure you stay away from bootleggers over in Oakland at 403 Semple Street. Because all it is is delicious chicken wings, cheap drinks, and smoking hot bartenders. That's bootleggers at 403 Semple Street over in Oakland. Over and out. I don't know about you, but I ain't got time to be packing boxes and moving stuff all the way around the tri-state area. I just don't got time for it. But I got to move. What am I supposed to do? Thank goodness I find out about Miracle Movers. Fully bonded and insured, serving the Tri-County area. And they go long and short distance. I just find out they do commercial delivery, too. That's Miracle Movers at 412-419-2620. 412-419-2620. And tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? When we first started Greenfield Finest Podcast, people started asking us right away, like they wanted t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, things like that, and we didn't know what to do. So we ended up getting a hold of Ink Division. Ink Division's a locally owned company ran by Jason Lott. Phone number 412-381-1104. Not only did Jason help us make all of our products and help ship them out, he helped come up with some of the designs, too. If you're looking for anything, if you have a podcast, a music band, if you're a comedian, you got a wedding coming up or a bachelor party, you need any specialty t-shirts or any specialty merchandise made please call ink division 412-381-1104 and remember tell them z-bird sent you hey what's going on everybody welcome back to greenfield's finest podcast in our last segment of the year what would greenfield do The last segment ever. Whoop, whoop. What do you mean ever? I'm retiring. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Look at at T-Bird getting old. I got a new new gear grinder. (laughs) No, we'll be here for 2021. Jack, if you retire through your your, uh, nearly near death. (laughs) Yeah, motherfucker. Now that you're getting healthy, you want to leave? Yep. (laughs) It changes I've been thinking. thinking. (laughs) I want to travel. All right. What would Greenfield do? Whoop, whoop. Uh, is it okay to tell your friend that you hate their boyfriend or girlfriend? Sure. Yeah, yeah I've had yeah. this experience my whole life. I've <laughs> done it millions of times. Jack, I remember when I introduced you to Rosie, you were like, I hate you. <laughs> she's a lot of firsts. <laughs> yeah, she's an no, acquired she's taste. Still a, she's still a handful. <laughs> she's an acquired taste for sure. But then, then Rose yeah, is the best. I love her she now, is. yeah. Yeah. Back in, uh, <laughs> what year did you guys start she, dating? Back in 05. She, she was a bit abrasive. <laughs> she was vulgar. Yep. She was like more vulgar to me or yep. my friends, and I'm like, that's pretty fucking vulgar. Yep. What's the What's the uh, story about Rose and Ben Roethlisberger dude, story? That's your dude, favorite so story. I'm, we're at Lydia <laughs> Street. So right, we're sitting there, and she's like, we're talking about the Steelers game. She's like, Ben Roethlisberger ain't thinking about throwing footballs. He's thinking about all that fucking pussy he's gonna be <laughs> fucking later on. And I'm sitting there, I'm like. Oh my god! You just what? met her, right? Yeah. yeah this is she first two wrong, months. Though. She wasn't wrong. No, though. she was no, like, yeah, the... he's thinking about getting his dick sucked all the time by everybody in Pittsburgh. <laughs> and I'm like, she's like, I'm looking at my it. friend. She's like, my friend. Guess what? Right. Of course, one of her friends was one of the girls that were, su- you know. <laughs> so she had intricate details. Oh uh, shit! So that's definitely a yes. We all, I but think yeah, we, I love you, Rosa. But yeah, yeah but, but to be someone's friend, you have to be able to like, all right, dude. We can move on to everybody. We can move to every. On you know, Paul dated a few girls. Did <laughs> <laughs> all of them. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe they rubbed me the wrong way. Maybe I rubbed them the wrong way. I don't know. Yeah, yeah okay, but listen, this this goes both ways. I'm yeah, not absolutely. saying I'm not saying yeah. I'm a perfect angel by any means. But yeah, there's been there's been some rocky roads out there. Uh for the most part, I think they all like survived though. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're not going to talk your buddy out. If somebody's no, in love with somebody. I, I'm not going to be a dick. I'm not going to be rude to your girlfriend or your wife fucking. Maybe, like, maybe one time, and then if she doesn't go away, like, okay, no. Like, I got to uh, deal with this Yeah, this, it sounds like, <laughs> seems like this one's going to be around for a while. <laughs> right, I better ease up. Yeah. Else so, I'm out of the wedding. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just, uh, I don't... Sometimes when girls like get into like new crews, they're like they're nervous and they try to do, yeah. do yeah. a little. Show off. They try to do yeah. a little too much. Try like all right. I'm so some, cool. Check this out. Yeah, like listen, we already got the funny people here. You just sit down. Yeah, and fuck with your yeah right, right. I got the jokes handled. <laughs> jokes are covered. Hey, hey, thank you, but no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that Trader Joe sparkling water must come up my nose. <laughs> oh fuck! All right, what restaurant did you think was nice as a kid, but when you became adult, you realized it wasn't that nice? <laughs> Old Country Buffet. You thought it was good? You thought Old Country? I, I seen that was a decent amount of answer on Twitter today. Like, people were saying that. Uh, I honestly don't. I, I was more of a Ponderosa guy. Ponderosa was fire. I don't it, think it, I would it, go to Ponderosa it, it, right now. And I think, if it was we, I think we'd be disgusted by it. Listen, if there's free ice cream at the end, <laughs> soft serve particularly, yeah. Yeah. I, I like it. I remember Ponderosa. Was it Ponder? I was going to say, I got a couple here. Hosses was one I was going to say because I remember walking into Hosses and being like, dude, look at all these options. Yeah. And then like they had the steaks on the board, but like I don't think I ever like. And was steaks look fire. And they Hosses looked, was hospitality. Yeah. So that it, yeah. I, and I, I don't think I was allowed to get, like, get the steaks, but like, fuck. You get the buffet. You get the buffet, yeah. yeah. And then all the and ice I, cream you could eat. And all the ice cream you could eat. Dude, I went. <laughs> It was right near Kennywood. Did you go to the same one right yeah, near Kennywood? Yeah, everybody went. Yeah, yeah. And then you went to Kennywood. And there was the a best time. There was best a day ever. Well, there was the Ponderosa was right near Kennywood. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was. I don't think Hosses was. No, not Hoss. I, yeah, I didn't I'm even talk, know about Hosses. I'm, I'm talking about Hosses. Dude, I was Last at Ponderosa three. Yeah, yeah. Ponderosa was like a staple of the Rosado family <laughs> growing up. Yeah. No, I definitely hit that. Uh, and then. Uh, Ooh, what was the other one? The ground round, where you like ground round was money. And, and then you like you it was wa- at the mall. Wasn't you it? you yeah. weighed yourself, and that's how much you paid. Like so, if you were a kid and you weighed like eighty nine pounds, you paid eighty nine cents to eat or some crazy shit like that. Yeah. Dude, you got the you got the helmet with the ice cream. Yeah, again. and they had a they had the table with the paper you towels, which I respect. Ice cream helmet. <laughs> yeah, I remember like weighing myself. Like, dude, I remember thinking like, dude, seventy eight cents for me to eat. Like that seems a little light. <laughs> But your mom was like, "Take your shoes off, Jack." <laughs> she made you strip down for wagons. Dude, I ate so much of hosses the first time I was over there, and I went there with the DCs, and it was like all the DCs. So like, there was a table of like fucking fifteen. Was it? Well, actually, it was half. It was a table of like fifteen people that I ate so much. As soon as we got in the parking lot, I threw up. Oh, you just stuffed yourself. I just like ate like a fucking I, pig because there were so many options and it was all so good. You dude, didn't know how to handle yourself. Dude, I would. Yeah, yeah, no. you embarrassed your Dude, family. I would yeah, eat. Buddy. I would eat the minimal. <laughs> I would eat the minimum amount and go directly to the soft serve ice cream. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. And, and eat like three or four cones. Yeah. And now I can see how you could throw up off of that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you get all that cream sitting on a bunch of like fucking like steak fucking dude, tips. Dude, I got punked at the Ponderosa last time I was there. <laughs> I wasn't even that young. I don't know when it closed. But I walked up to the buffet mm. and this chick took the whole basket of wings and just dumped them on her plate. Wow. Yeah. Dumped on her plate and then put them back, and I just stood there, like, like looking around, like, Dude, fuck, that's the I, only thing I wanted. I have the exact same, uh, uh, you know, happening to me. We were at the, what is it, the Old this Country Buffet? This next goes to, back to, like, checking people. Like, yeah. like in Monroeville, dude, I, you know, uh, Red Lobster, and was it Old Country Buffet's right next door? Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm there, and uh, Rose is like, oh, you know, Rosa loves, like, a buffet, dude. Me, Ugh. I want to sit down. Give me my fucking food. I want what I want. I like the buffet to a certain age that I realize. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, or right. if I'm like pissed, steaming, drunk, okay, I'll buffet yeah, all right. day. But I, I'm a grown man. Okay. Even Vegas buffets that are like real, like fancy and yeah, shit. I still don't like it. Uh, you know, yeah. Bring me my food. Cause you make yourself sick. There's too many options. It's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's beneath me. <laughs> most, mo- most underrated buffet as a kid for me was a Pizza Hut. I love oh, the good Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut was good, yeah. Love See, now, now you took the place I was talking about because like when I was younger, Rosado family went to Pizza Hut. We ate, <laughs> we ate with forks and knives at that Pizza Hut, and there was a there was a no salad doubt. bar. Yep. Yeah. So that was like a nice it meal. Was yeah. You had the bacon. You, like, <laughs> you get the pizza, then you get the breadsticks and the salad bar. Yeah. No, it was, it was legit. That was like that was eating. They the family that, was happy. They had that one on Lincoln place. Like I used to leave all the rice all the time and go to that Pizza Hut. Yeah. Dude, I remember dudes used to go there and sleep, and then eat again. You know what I mean? They'd like it was like the yeah, and it was like nine nice to inside. eleven and buffet, nice big booths. Dude, you're talking about you're talking about, about like score. mid to late eighties. Were like this was these were nice. They were just built. They had the right. red plastic cups. Yep. Yeah. 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 Right. There wasn't you know I went to the one in East Liberty a lot. 
I don't I even. You, there's no, it's I not there remember. anymore. Yeah, I can't remember. It's near the Whole Foods, but there's a street. It was on. We, dude. There's a lot of family loves some people. That was fine dining. <laughs> yeah. I, it, so, like, yeah, I, horses when I was little, and then when I was, like, got a little bit when I was, like, just a white trash, like, teenager, I remember thinking, like, P.F. Chang's was high and shit because it was so nice. That, same with, uh, like, that was what I was going to say. Same with, like, the Cheesecake Factory because, like, dude, they're they're built, like, they're insane looking. The nice horses out in front of P.F. Chang's. Right. That's what I used to think. P.F. Chang's was, like, a so high We're saying they're, they're not nice places. I, I mean, they're not, they're not <laughs> bad, but yeah, they're not but high they, class. Yeah, it's not, like, some fucking crazy, like, right. nah. Dude, there's no the reason there should something. be a two-hour wait on a Friday to get in P.F. Chang's. Chang's but there was. Yeah. Chang's will fucking make you wait for six hours, dude. dude and that, you gotta just stare at that big and ass homestead. Horse. Yeah, yeah, right. And people exactly. will wait. Yeah, I sat. And I sat, I waited forty five minutes for PF Chang's before, for sure. Yeah, dude, fucking Bravo, PF Chang's, all them fuckers. Cheesecake Factory. I've waited I had, for an hour. I had major pull with Bravo, so I never had to wait. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, that's right. You were on the end. I was on the end, <laughs> big time. But uh, Bravo's another one too. Bravo's nice as fuck looking inside. Like fucking. It is. It's like old rustic, well, old stuff. rustic road. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, Bravo's fire. But last time I was there, you know, we we're on this Corona shit, and it was like a, a abbreviated menu, and it was like, mm. dude, yeah, I'll yeah. be honest, I'd, I'd, I'd be willing to go to any bar or restaurant right now. Like anything would be great. Right? I'd go to a Pizza Hut with a with a jukebox, dude. Anything, <laughs> yeah, anything. Right, I'll take anything right now to like not be at home eating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Well, everybody, we just want everyone to have a, a great, happy New Year. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also join our Facebook group. Have a happy new year. And remember, everybody, that Greenfield loves you. We're happy out. Happy new year.